Oh, well. all right, we're here, chat. I think. Hold on. Let me find this silly little website real quick. Can you hear me? All right. Hello. Hello. Okay. There we go. There we go. <clears throat> all right. All right. All right. We're here for Rift Sharks versus Andromeda. This is week. Hold on. Let me double check what week and game we're on. Uh. Week four of season eight. But uh yeah, should be an exciting matchup. Um a lot of changes that have happened in the meta recently. I'm super excited to see which teams are gonna bust out new picks. Um both teams are two and one. This is top of the standings matchup here for the side of Andromeda versus Earth Sharks. Um curious to see what meta changes uh people have picked up on. Uh me personally, I think there's gonna be a lot of eyes on mid and bot lane. <coughs> I think it's going to be Stanley versus Dean, which is a matchup I'm super excited to watch personally. Um, I think I'm supposed to have a co-cast. I don't know if Stav is on, but let me grab him real quick. Let me hop into casting if people want to join. Um, but yeah, super exciting game to watch. Uh, both teams have been playing super well, so I'm curious to see what adaptations that we're going to get. Restart clients, micro patch just dropped. Hold on. Uh, we're getting a current update as we speak. Yeah, I'm on it. Don't worry, Dean. <sighs> it's updating for me right now. Um, but yeah, uh, there's a huge Varus change. I imagine this champion is going to be high prior with both Dean and Honan being prolific Varus players. I think Evans played a lot of Varus as well, so I'm curious to see uh, what the priority is on that. Uh, the key matchup looks like it's going to be Dean versus Stanley like I'm talking about. Uh, Dean has performed pretty well in the mid lane so far. Uh, did drop a game to Taxi, I believe. Or drop a series to Taxi, so I'm very excited to see how the games are going. Hey, Stop, how are you doing? <clears throat> I'm doing great. Let me sc screen share my OBS real quick. And then... Can you see this? Are we good? Alright. Alright, alright. Are you excited to watch this game? Uh, I might have you muted, really? Uh, hold on. Oh, I do, I do, I do. There's a... Uh, I forgot how to do this shit, right. but, like, here we are. Well, now they can hear me. Oh, okay, right. we're good, we're I, good. Like I, like I was about to start saying, I am very excited for this game. I think Andromeda and Rift Sharks, I mean, they're both tied for number one right now. So. Yeah. Uh, both teams are two and one. Both have shown very, very solid performances. Agreed. Both, like as individual players, uh, individual player wise, as well as um, as well as as teams. I think they're two of the most cohesive uh, uh, teams that play like together. Yeah, um, I know that Metabus or not Metabusters, uh, Rift Strikes have been playing a lot together in Flex Q, So I'm curious to see if the their time spent will pay off. Um, I do want to talk about some of the meta changes just because, like, I think New Patch did actually have a lot of impact. Uh, we see champions like Rise on the rise. Funny joke. Anyways, wow. but also uh, a couple different carry junglers like Kindred and Graves coming back up uh, in the patch notes. Um, these champions are very scary, and I think Apari has played both of them, so I'm curious to see if he's willing to pivot off of the Viego into these uh, newly buffed champions. Um, Lilia is also on her way down. Um, I think our resident masters Lilia player said the buffs don't really matter, but I'm curious to see if it'll if it'll shape out that way. Um, mm -hmm. Varus is super strong in this meta. Um, Lethality is disgusting to see. Uh, your Q does like nuclear amounts of damage for no reason. <laughs> um, Senna is like really on the downscale as well. Same with Seraphine. Uh, I think they both got touched uh, pretty yeah. hard in this patch notes. Um, and then yeah. some some minor Aurora nerfs that didn't really mean much, but I don't yeah. think either of these teams are going to play it anyways. Yeah. Oh, and there was also the Warbox nerf. Uh, the champion mm -hmm. was the best in slot on a lot of supports, and seeing it go down. Uh, the move speed loss is really important, so I'm curious to see what the... Oh, yeah. and Fleet Footwork is getting nerfed, so I guess like AD carries are a little bit down as well, like the sustained mm -hmm. mid laners that let you flex mages more into the bot lane. I think that's how it was yeah. with that, how I was talking about it with Taxi, so... I'm curious to see what the prize is going to be on that as well. Yeah. Uh, do we know who has side select? 
Uh, let me check. I believe... Or or who has what side each team is on? I believe Rift Sharks is on blue side. I think this team is actually okay. really good blue side. Um, I, I agree. Uh, there's a lot of potential. You can first pick the Hui. I think it is a really good flex. Um, super good mm -hmm. blind. Um, although, I think giving Andromeda counterpick is also really spooky with players like Sarverus and Stanley doing really well with counterpick. Uh, yep. So I think there's like a lot of advantages for both sides here, um, but I believe. Hold on, let me pull up the draft as well. So, um, Jonah is sorry. Jonah's not on this on either of these teams. He was in the last Rift Sharks game. Noam is the jungler for Rift Sharks. He is a Lilia player, so I wouldn't be surprised to to see that picked up for him. That actually opens the door for. Rift Sharks to maybe start playing some ADCs mid. We haven't really seen that in scrims so far. Yeah. But if any team is poised to do it, I think it's I think it's Rift Sharks because D yeah. is a former ADC player on the on the server. So I think it would be really interesting. Maybe we see uh, an ADC first pick on on blue yeah. side and then oh also I uh, think the... that either ADC or, or mid with uh, yeah. with an AP jungler like Lilia could be really yeah. interesting. Um, I do think there should be like a lot of eyes on the Varus pick. Um, yeah. I think Andromeda giving them blue side is a little scary, just because um, being able to first pick Varus and then also like Dean plays it, and I think Evan can play it as well. So I mm -hmm. think it's a very scary potential uh, yeah, flex. And it's, uh, and it's a big Honan champion, so he'd be taking yeah. that away from him as well. Yeah, it it kind of saves the ban because it's a really strong champion, and Honan's very good at it, so it saves uh, Rift Sharks the ban as well. Maybe yeah, yeah. The Andromeda ban it out. Yeah, we do def I definitely think we'll, we'll see a uh, ban out from Andromeda here over the Varus. Uh, I'm curious to see if the Kane still gets banned. Uh, Bari has been never allowed to play this champion, so I'm curious to see. You could you could also look to... If you're Rift Sharks, I mean, you have a couple really good first picks, right? You could first pick the Kane. I think Kane is a is not a great blind pick. Agreed. Uh, but it, it can get countered pretty easily, but I think... At this at this point in the season, um, in my opinion, comfort matters more yeah. than than team comps and matchups. Matchups does matter, but I think in the jungle less so. Oh, oh um, absolutely. A jungle counterpick is a little fake, uh, unless um, you are using it to counterpick team comps. I believe because there's yeah. jungle champions that can counter team comps, and I think if you know how to use them, they're super valuable. Um, yeah, like if you have a if you have a poppy jungle into into a dive comp, that can be really good. Yeah, yeah, stuff or the Talia jungle. Uh, yeah, yeah, stuff like that as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I mean, there's two really big prior picks there on blue side, right? You can either be the um, uh, draft is apparently starting, by the way. Oh, okay. Sorry, we'll switch um, over here in a second. Uh, you can you can either look to the first pick, the Kane, the Varus, the the Hue, as you said. But we are going to see that Kane banned out uh, on uh, the side of Rift Sharks. Yeah, and I think Kane, and then the Caitlyn banned. This champion's also, I think, did they, did she get buffed? Uh, Caitlyn did get a little bit of scaling attack speed. Yeah. Uh, I think this is a very um, solid ban. Um, I think yeah, Luffy, Luffy has played it. Yeah, and Andromeda is opting to ban the Nyla. I don't think Evan has gotten this champion very much. And I think this last ban, they don't know about the Varus, and it looks like the Rift Shark is going to probably get this Varus pick potentially. And they opt to uh, yeah. ban away Honan's Thresh. I think this is just the easiest Varus blind yeah, on planet Earth, and there it is, blue yeah, side, first pick, is. Varus, baby. <laughs> All right, so I think the the main highlight with this champion right now is you can go lethality and just nuclearize the entire enemy team with your Q. And it looks like Andromeda is going to pick the Zerath in response. I think they might think this is a mid lane. All right, this is a, a this is a various AD carry, but I think Rift Sharks have the read here because they can just flex this mid lane, and then it is yeah. going to be a Nami pick as well. I think Zerath with the Nami bubbles is like really scary, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I mean any any sort of CC on, on if you have a Zerath on your team, any sort of CC just amplifies his his effectiveness by a lot. Yeah. Right. Um, even even like the Nami wave, just being able to briefly CC somebody is enough for him to get like a quick WQ off and just nuke somebody's health bar. All right, uh, and it he, looks like we are gonna pick the Amumu for jungle here potentially. Uh, also, well, could yeah. flex support. I think PB does play the Amumu jungle uh, support as well. Uh, if very. That's, if that's a Varus ADC. I think Amumu is maybe not the best pick until level six. Yeah, um, v Varus does really well with supports with a lot of CC, like the uh, like the Leona that we yeah. we're gonna see picked up. 
Uh, Leona sure. is still a really good support champion. Uh, PB, one of our best support players, I think, mm -hmm. able to just hard slam the lanes. And a Mumu jungle for Noam. I don't think he's played this yet, but I think this champion is really good. A um, lot of AP damage. Uh, you can go uh, Leandri's and then just fucking nuke people with the ultimate. Mm -hmm. And it looks like it's going to be the ASOL mid for Stanley into the Varus. We'll have to see how this goes. I think Varus should be able to just push him out, but uh, Aurelian Soul does tend to have the better roams. And it looks like... It seems like Andromeda does think this is a Varus mid, or they're just respecting the flex pick here. I mean, yeah. a Varus ADC, or they're respecting the flex pick. Yeah, it looks like a Fizz ban for Dean. Uh, I think... He played it once versus Fruitcakes. Uh, when I played versus it, it didn't feel that oppressive, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just shit talking dude for no reason, but uh, <laughs> the Fizz is definitely a ban to like uh, prevent it from shutting down the Ace Law, which is decent. Looks like it's going to be a Kindred ban for Apari here. Uh, they are respecting uh, the champion as well, and it looks like it's yeah, going to be that, a Jace ban. With that being a Zeref and an ace hole on the same team you have to you have to assume that that Zerath is going over to honan and that if he's playing adc here yeah i i think With the caitlin band i don't think we've seen her play much i think we've seen her on the misfortune otherwise yeah and it looks like um, aparis vigo is also going to eat a ban here and it's going to be yeah. the set top lane i That's honestly it could be set jungle yeah yeah you're right I think I think Apari is screaming right now in Mike. They banned all my stuff. Haha. Ha. Pick the pick the set jungle. And it looks like it is going to be a Senna pick still, even after the nerfs. Um I think Freak was telling us on uh, the patch notes to build Black Lever. And it's gonna be a Mordekaiser pick for so, Avery. So that means that's most likely gonna be Senna ADC. Yeah, with the Bork piece. grass build, I think. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't know what that champion builds. Senna players, she can build whatever she wants. <laughs> All right, and it looks like it's going to be a Kled into Mordecai. I'm pretty sure Kled walks this matchup. Uh, yeah. It's kind of hard for Mordecai to play the although, game here. Although I don't know if Kled really matches what Andromeda's team comp is trying to do here. It feels more like something you would pick up if you're Rift Sharks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Their Rift Sharks is definitely trying to play the engage comp here, and it looks like Kled just kind of. Maybe wants to walk in after Zerath gets poked down, I guess. Probably maybe ferry the set in as well. Yeah. I don't know. I, I Okay, I do think we cannot uh, talk about this draft without underselling or overstating how much the Varus got value here as a first pick blind. They wasted yeah. two bans in the mid lane, and then they still get a ADC, ADC pick here that they really want in the center. So I think the Varus flex really did pay off for Rift Sharks here. So. Yeah, absolutely. And... If that's if that's on Dean, I do remember him playing um, Lethality Varus. Two, I think early last scrims season when uh, Lethality items had just gotten mini reworked. Yeah. Uh, so he he's certainly comfortable on that champion. He had some really crazy performances on it, if I recall correctly. Yeah, I think Dean is one of our more historic. Uh... Uh, various players, and I think he's always performed fairly well on it, uh, be it Lethality, be it on hit, so I'm curious to see. Mm -hmm. uh, who is on which roster? I didn't really talk about this before the game started, but... Uh, I think it's starting roster for both, right? I think so. Hold on, let me double check. Yeah, that, that looks like starting roster for Rift Sharks as well as... Although, I don't really know what Andromeda's starting roster is. I think that's it, though. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah I, so it's being top lane on the... Roster. It's being Apari, Stanley, Hone, and Luthi. Okay, okay. And Avery Noam, Dean, Evan, PB. All right. Um, gosh. Do, I, who do you think, like, very, really is f favorite draft here? Sorry, I keep I, going I think I think Rift Shark's favorite... I, I'm very Rift Shark's on this draft. I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. Although they might struggle in the sustained damage department, it, like... Yes, you have a Varus Senna, but into into the set, into the Kled, you're going to struggle to take those champions down. Especially if the Kled just runs at you before the Varus can put down any poke. Yeah. So so I am curious to see. I think it's going to be really critical for the top side of Rift Sharks to not giga lose, because that's... I, it's going to be a rough side of the map for them. Like, into the set Kled, that is such a ridiculous setup for early game dives and invades. Uh, Amumu can't touch Set in the jungle, and I don't think Mordekaiser can touch Kled in the top lane. Yeah, it's all. I think really Rift Sharks really wants to play bot side here. Um, once you get the level sixes from the Liana, the Amumu, I don't think there's a single universe where Zerath, Aurelian Soul can match Varus, uh, Senna with like 
uh, Leona and Amumu to back them up. Like, this is such an unbeatable bot side if they manage to get to six and just start uh, grouping for objectives like Dragon. Really yeah. trying to, like, snowball your lead through Dragons, I'm pretty sure, is the way to play this game. Um, <clears throat> definitely try to Prio Soul here. Uh, really enable uh, your getting another win con on the board, like the Dragon Soul, which is typically considered like a pretty standard win con. And then you can just like play front to back, look for team fights with the Amumu R and the Leona R and just try to play the death ball, you know? Yeah, I mean, if anybody on, on Andromeda gets hit, I don't care if you're the Klet, I don't care if you're the Set. If you you're dying. With the Leona R, you're dead. You're dead, like, you yeah, have, yeah. You have an Amumu follow up, you have a, a Lethality Varus who's just going to press R. Yeah. Get, like two triple stacked abilities on you. It's... Uh. If you get hit by anything, you're you're absolutely dead. If you're on anyone on Andromeda, but yeah. at the same time, past that initial like pick, the only real sustained damage you have outside of poke is the Senna, yeah, and the Mordekaiser. Um, and I think the Mordekaiser is going to struggle to get in on the uh, on the yeah the one v one into the the Clad is going to be so impossible for this Mordekaiser. When you get the uh, empty heal cut onto the Mordekaiser, you just lose that one v one, and it's just over. Yeah. And I think if Bean can definitely try to snowball his top side and then just ferry Apari into your team and then just take someone and dunk him into your eighty carries, it's just a wrap, right? Like, and then you have the Zara follow up with the Qs, yeah, and like the Asol ulti to follow up from range. Definitely a lot of still a lot of avenues for Andromeda to play the game here. So yeah, absolutely. Late uh, game, I'm gonna I'm gonna be watching that clut as well in the late game. Yeah, right? Absolutely. Like, Set Set's gonna be looking for big R's. He's gonna maybe be able. Clut's gonna maybe be ferrying that set in but honestly i'd be more worried about the clut on the flank right if if andromeda plays counter engage you you can just have the clad sit on a flank the leona goes in the amumu goes in and suddenly you have a clad who just evaporates the back line yeah and it looks like uh we do have someone's uh in the chat saying uh andromeda with no ad carries it's a gg uh ad carries are really strong right now still so i kind of agree but i think Andromeda have drafted themselves a lot of comfort as well. They're very familiar with how their champions want to play, so. Mm -hmm. uh, are we in game? Hold on, do I need to? Oh yeah, we are. Oh, we are. As we have reached the game state. Hold on, let me scroll. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta shrink that, yeah, that I got league it. window a little bit. Or grow the OBS window. Yeah, I gotcha, I gotcha. Uh, I have to turn off the time controls, right? Yeah, I guess. All right, as we are into game here, um, if we want to talk about runes a little bit, uh, the conqueror for yeah, the Amumu. We, we can't see runes right now. We can't see the whole right side oh, of the screen. You're gonna have on. to shrink yeah, that. You're right. Yeah, you're right. Oh, it's fine for me. Hold on. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh. Oh. There we go. All right, hold on. I still need to edit this a little bit, but there we there go. There we go. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Now that we're in game, talk about runes. Um, it is gonna be the grasp center, like we talked about. Turbo Unk. Yeah, I'm old, bro. <laughs> I used to use the old Twitch studios, bro. Like it, they discontinued it, but yeah, I'm Unk. Oh well. Uh, Amumu is taking the Conqueror here. Um, this is like a really good rune for Amumu to like try to go for more one v ones, whereas Aftershock is more for like team fight centric uh, Amumu play. So I'm curious. I'm at surprised to see. Sorry, what did okay. you say? I mean, but at the same time, are you are you really looking for one v one v ones? Yeah, right yeah. Now? Like you're into a set. <laughs> I don't think oh you're ever gosh, gonna one v one him. Looks like Balin is trying to play the more aggressive side of this matchup here, uh, PBEing and getting some decent damage down. And uh, overall, coming out on top of that trade, uh, looks like it is going to be the farming Senna as well. So curious to see how this matchup is going to shake out. Uh, Apari also with the Ghost on set. I'm surprised he didn't take Flash because uh, Flash ulting as the uh, set is super valuable. But I guess if you Ghost on top of a tank and then just slam them into your team, like it's like the same concept. You don't really need Flash, but. Yeah, I mean, especially with the uh, with the Kled R here. Yeah. Right? You just, like, run in behind the Kled, E, maybe get a stun, maybe not. It doesn't really matter. And then just, like, walk behind them with, yeah. with the slow you get from that. Yeah, both junglers just uh, Not that I think he's player. really going to be looking to alt ADCs in general, though, right? He's yeah. going to be wanting to, to appeal for his his Zerath and his Aesol by just yeah. pressing R on, on either the, the Amumu or the Leona. Yeah. Both junglers opting for a boring awful clear. I would never do this as a jungler, by the way. This is very cringe. 
What, what would you do here? I would full clear. I'm fucking so fucking fake right now. <laughs> the correct meta is here to full clear. Um, you're a Mumu. You're just playing for your ults and playing for dragon fights. That's all you really got to do. So, mm -hmm. uh, Yeah. Um, bot lane is fairly even. Uh, Andromeda's been getting some really good Oh, E in from PB here. here. A good bubble by Liffy to stop the engage. Yeah, and W comes be out from PB gets the... really low. Yeah. Um, and Honan's able to continue applying pressure on the Senna for... Evan is forced to burn the E as the Oh, back but in. the flash, PB back e in. Following the flash, as PB is going to pick up the first blood. Ooh, a good bubble by good bubble by up and get a return kill on a party. As he does manage to do so, a, oh, really close on the W damage. Not quite going to get it. He burns the ghost to try and continue. Oh, falling. but oh, another kill on PB. Reengage again. Get a second kill picked up for himself. Uh, overall, one for two on the side of Rift Sharks. Both kills going on to the support the kit though, and one going on to the e set for the side of Andromeda. Uh, I will say I think that is good for Rift Sharks, but you don't always want your uh, support to get all the kills. But getting this Leona accelerated or getting her tanky is still kind of valuable. So I think the play is overall Rift Sharks favored, but I think Leona getting the last get hits are, is a little unfortunate for them. Yeah, I mean, into the into the Zerath lane, it might actually be pretty good to get kills on the Leona there. Just so she can really continue tanky. to apply pressure. Continue to apply pressure. Yeah. Ooh, another a flash. A good cube. I know. I'm burning Stanley's fast here. Uh, making sure Dean will be able to get lane prowl versus the Asol still. Uh, good play from Noam here. Yeah, that's, gonna... that's really important. Yeah. Dean opting for the Caulfield Warhammer first. I'm surprised if he has 1100 gold on a back. Why doesn't he just go for a uh, Lethality? Uh, a Turk there. Ooh, hex flash out of the uh, uh, bush onto Lithy here. Does manage to hit all the CC and she's dropping down below half. The Leona damage is so gross, by the way. Look at this champion, man. <laughs> oh, good dodge by Evan. Turns, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Noam also did get double crab, so we can all type jungle diff in the chat here. Uh, truly, that's all that matters in this uh, PP ass roll, if you ask me. If you get both crabs, uh, it might as well FF. Get rolls not playable after that. So, yeah. I mean, also going back to uh, to Dean's build, it, it it does also raise the question: What is he building first, right? Cause yeah. There aren't very many lethality items that build out of that. The most Call obvious choice anymore. is. Either an Umbral Glaive or a Manamune. Umbral Glaive, I feel like, is kind of troll. Yeah. Um, but Manamune, you would expect to get a here. here. Yeah. Uh, just a bit of an aggressive trade. Uh, Evan is dropping low. Honan is hitting a lot of these abilities. Plus, with the Nami bubbles on top of it, it's just doing nuclear amounts of damage. And I think he is just going to rush the Manamune. Didn't go for the tier first base. Really wanted to apply more pressure. So. Mm -hmm. And once again, we see another Faded Ash abuser from uh, Noam. Surely we will not abuse broken items. Mason Press I. <laughs> do I have to? What's I don't it? Think you, you're not, you don't have to do anything. This is true. I, what if I want to leave the, the, the thing of, like, leave me alone, Jacob. Yeah. True. Yeah. Um, Overall, pretty CS slow game so far. the board is super even. Yeah. Noam has a slight CS lead. Yeah, I, Hari, but Hari's I think been applying just, more pressure on the map. Yeah, I think that's just overall getting double crabs type beat. Um, it will put you ahead a little bit in terms of uh camps, but like precisely eight really CS ahead, which is what gnomes ahead. True, true, true. Uh, I think he missed one small uh Krug. That's why he's only forty nine. Uh, it's an odd number, or he managed to pick up a lane CS. I was gonna flame him for missing a small grub, but or Krug, but he did not. So, uh, but yeah. Sleeper ass game. game right now. Pretty slow game so far, yeah. Looks like Noam is gonna just try to start the grubs here. I don't know if he has the prior for this. Both Andromeda has the uh, Andromeda has the support and the jungler here. Uh, Dean is moving up, but uh, there's a potential collapse. Avery is ulting the uh, Clad here. Might win the one v one. The flash from Bean and does manage to get the remount. Oh, Should be able to live here. And it looks like Apari is full HP. Oh, and the ulti coming out to make sure that the face breaker doesn't or the. Is the Haymaker doesn't go through, and it looks like Dean, look at that fucking Q damage, by the way. Super fair champion. Uh, does manage to get the 3 proc. Gnome does go down, but they do manage to get most of the grubs here, and it looks like Rift Shark's still coming out on top. Uh, Avery didn't die up topside either, even though they got yeah. the remount, so super well played from Rift Sharks, I think. PB is also here now. Uh, Stanley might die here. Kill Leona but... is about to get a third, I think. So true. <laughs> this champion might not be fair, chat. Who can say, really? <laughs> 
But yeah, um, Noam actually played that fight super well. Uh, if you saw, he ulted right before uh, the set really wanted to get the uh, Haymaker off and uh, prevented him from pressing W and getting the fat shield and winning the fight. Uh, Honan rotating up trying to get Dean here, but doesn't hit anything. So uh, super well played from Rift Sharks here. Dodges everything. What did you say? He be my goat, dodges everything. Yeah, yeah, true. Uh, he would not be so bad as to be hit by Zareth abilities, my goat. But yeah, uh, Grubs, I think they got two of them, and uh, Andromeda got one, so no chance at the six Grub power spike, but I think having just a couple Grubs to get in tower damage is still super useful throughout the game. Uh, next play is probably going to be a Dragon's. Uh, Amumu won't have ult for this Dragon, but uh, I think Rift Sharks do have a bit of a gold advantage here, so they might try to just leverage that to fist fight at the Dragon. Yeah. Can you can you hold X real quick? I want to see where that gold advantage on Rift Sharks is, because if you look at the individual players, it seems pretty even. Yeah, um, it's mostly just in PB, honestly. I mean, I, Senna has a pretty has a pretty sizable lead as well, but yeah, most of that lead, lead is yeah. on PB. Yeah, my go did manage to pick up the Merc treads here. Uh, it does have a decent amount of value versus like the uh, Zareth poke, getting you that a little bit extra MR versus the Zareth stun. The I think Asol has a stun on the knockup, so like might reduce uh, that. Yep. So yeah, and uh, the set stun as well. So. I think Nami Bubble doesn't get reduced, right? Because it's just, uh, it's, it's, yeah, uh, it's a knockup and then a stun. Suspension. Yeah, it's a suspension. Sick fucking game, by the way. Anyways, uh, they are going to start this dragon. Uh, Noam will have ult coming up soon, so I don't think this is very contestable from the side of Andromeda. Dean has the push on the ASOL as well. Uh, there is a potential turn option. Apari is walking up here, but I don't know if he has the prio for this. Fari's looking to Fari ulti, ulting, does get the ulti down onto, onto the, the... Onto the Varus, manages to get a really good combo onto the Varus. Yeah, and, and the, he's I'm just getting one shot. Pick up and then yeah. Sandy's going to follow up, Honan backs off, presses the R, hits one R onto Evan in the back line, as PB flashes Ooh. in onto whoever... whoever does manage to get one, board. another kill going onto PB as, here, as but... continuing to just pump out damage from the back. Yeah. Able to proc those Leona passes and do so much damage. Yeah, if you saw the black hole that, uh... Ooh, Ooh a bit of a misflash from there. Evan, but... Yeah, definitely a good play from the side of uh, Andromeda. If you saw that the black hole that uh, Stanley placed made it so that Dean couldn't get away from the set that was on top of him, and he just got punched to death by the set. So yeah. super well played from Andromeda here, managing to stall the dragon out a little bit. Uh, Noam does still have ulti, though. Didn't use it in this fight. Oh, Honan might get picked here, though, but a good flash to get him away from PB as he's engaging. So... Overall, still a pretty even game state so far. Uh, Rift Sharks does I have a bit of a gold lead. A third kill. Yeah, my goat is unstoppable on the Leona here. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, at this point, gold is is all on on the Leona, right? Yeah. Um, the other uh, the other places maybe the Zerath. I mean, uh, Honan is down like five CS, which isn't that much. But yeah, but still down four hundred gold just because one, I think one assist and. No plates, actually. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Apari does manage to complete the Stride Breaker here for the set, so it looks like it is up to oh, another ulti coming out from Avery. He should just win this handedly and just fucking smacks yeah, I mean, the shit out of Bean. <laughs> <laughs> Avery showing showing us up. Top gap. Solo bolo. Sorry. <laughs> we thought this cut was absolutely going to roll this lane, but Avery is showing us why he's the best top laner in the server. Absolutely, and it looks like Noam is just going to opt for this uh, four grubs here. Uh, Pari is in the area with the Stride Breaker, but Noam does have ulti, so they should win this fight if they do try to go for it. Um, looks like uh, Pari is just going to concede it, because he knows his top laner doesn't have the move for it. Uh, looks like Stanley is eating in, does drop the black hole onto the Varus, but doesn't manage to get anything. That Q damage is so big, though, and Amumu might just walk back down to the bot lane, do the classic uh, objective into the other objective here. Uh, does still have the ultimate, so this is still a potential fight for Rift Sharks that they would want to take. Uh, they have all ultimates up, they are willing to fight this, so we'll have to see what the play is going to be from them here. Uh, Botlin is looking to trade a little bit, Apari is over the wall here. Keep coming out from Noam, Apari is right there on the pit, we'll have to see what the uh, angle is. What, what items does Varus have right now? Is he, oh, sorry. He Sure. Varys has a Dirk and a Warhammer. Ulti coming out from Apari here. Another three-man oh, stun, really and the ulti really coming out, Apari. double ults coming out though from the side of Rift Sharks, and they do manage to live here. Uh, the Varus ulti and the Amumu R were really well timed, and Apari once again isn't able to press the Haymaker here to really get, uh, really able to get 
a lot of value out of this uh, Amumu ulti. Also, Taxi saying the best off of the server got smacked last week by Drago. Let's calm down and not be a one game, Andy. Uh, kind of true, to be honest. Uh, uh, Avery did sort of get dog walked by Draco, Drago, so best off might not be correct, but uh, I like being a one game, Andy, so here we are. Um, Real. Yeah, but super well played. Once again, uh, Apari kind of greeting out his W Haymakers and managing to get punished by the Amumu R. Super well played uh, from Rift Sharks here. Do uh, you see the combos that we're talking about, though? Apari had a really good start to that fight, got the double stun on the set, and then also got the uh, Ace ult, ult coming down. But uh, Amumu was able to just pick up the ulti here. Uh, looks like all four members of Andromeda just showed up when Rift Sharks was... going to be a dead center. Yeah, super well played by Lithy. Really good bu bubble, I think. Well, also, they knew when to punish because uh, Rift Sharks didn't have ulti, so they just went and walked in and took it. So, well played from Andromeda here. Yeah, I mean, hubris first item by, by Dean. I don't think... I As as a former Lethality Varus Enjoyer, I, I don't know if that's the right play i mean it's 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 good if you're going to build a hubris to get it as early as possible right yeah but i i honestly probably would have gone for like an opportunity or a you moves or something yeah i think I the most popular build is opportunity uh surprised they didn't win that with that big ult from asol yeah i agree but i think no one with the really well-timed ulti to get like four people uh was super well played from him so <clears throat> looks like a pretty decent queue from dean just Trying to poke them out here. There might be a rotate on the fight for the Rift Herald. Evan is bot side. So it is going to be the full five man from Andromeda here looking for the Rift Herald potentially. As Bean burns his TP top just to try and prevent uh, prevent Avery from crashing into his tower. Uh, maybe try and get some, some pick up some prio for, for the Rift Herald. Yeah, definitely but. looking for it. It uh, does have the charge, I think this ultimate's called. So... I didn't say that with the correct intonation, but whatever. Um, yeah, does still have ultimate, so potential engage here from the Kled as well. Um, ultis are all up from the side of Rift Strikes here, though, so potential fight might come up from them. Noam is sitting in a bush. Uh, oh, ulti coming out pick, from the Varus. To follow up, and then a Leona stun oh. immediately. That is so much CC onto a party. That's what we were talking about earlier, where if anybody gets hit by... Any CC, no matter who you are, you're just dead if you're on Andromeda. Yeah. Uh, I think that was a good coordination from Rift Sharks as well to not burn the Amumu R and instead burning the Leona R. Leona R does mm -hmm. tend to have a longer cooldown than Amumu ult, so I think being able to conserve that resource until another fight where you don't really have to is really good. Um, Honan is putting down a lot of uh, putting down a lot of poke onto Evan. I'm not sure if it's really going to matter though. And another objective going over to Rift Sharks here, so yeah, and I mean this might this might even be a dive angle. I mean Honan lands yeah. a good stun. Lithy's not going to follow up with the bubble, but yeah, so much damage onto Evan. I I wouldn't be surprised to see Honan like land one more Q and then back off to press R. Yeah, looks like the Q does manage to whiff. Good dodge from Evan. <coughs> PB is also back down here in the bot lane. Apari is in the area though, so they might look for a three, uh, two v three here. But uh, yeah, Honan does have his flash up, but no mana, so this might be a good engage angle for PB. Uh, Rift yeah. here. Yeah, Noam is in the area as well, though, so we'll have to see what the play is from both teams. Uh, pretty slow controlled game, though, from both sides. Um, PB is sort of showing the support gap, though, and just being at every fight has hit most of the engages that he wants to hit on the Leona, and just, mm -hmm. like, playing super well this series. Uh, looks like it is going to be a Roa rush from Stanley. Uh, I think most Aesols are rushing Rylize right now, because that item is so good on that champion, you're able to just keep people in your... Uh, Icy Hot, your Flame Breath thing. I'm calling it Icy Hot. So I think interesting build from him. I think I would have preferred to see the Rallies. It gives you a lot of playmaking as well. So yeah, another fight breaking out in the top lane. Avery is just smacking the dog shit out of Bean here. Another Q landing. Ignite yeah. coming down from Avery. And it looks like a potential kill here. But he almost remounts. And it could just be a Q here. Flash Q does whiff. Oh my gosh. With the claw. Oh, the remount almost comes down. But yeah. I think he was dead even with the remount yeah. there. And we saw the power of allies there as a rush. Avery taking no damage from Glut. That's what I'm saying, bro. This champion's stupid. Looks like the Assault is coming in though. It should be able to pick up a potential kill here. The E coming out. Does manage to get it here. Uh, ulti coming down from the... Asol and is in the, the death realm actually so 
but Apari is here as well to potentially bail out his mid laner. Uh, good E yeah, from the really side of Avery to cancel the Q, but Apari does burn the ultimate and the shutdown does manage to go onto the site here. Yeah, Avery burned his flash and ignite during the uh, the dive there onto Bean, so that's a pretty easy pickup for yeah. Rift Shark. But Rift Shark does manage to get a play on the other side, uh, just picking up two towers. When you have this lethality Varus, you do so much damage. It, PB is engaging here. The Varus and the Amumu are, are also on their way. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's a nuclear amount of damage from the Varus Q. This champion's so broken, by the way. Uh, it looks like... That's like fully charged WQ does yeah. a little bit of damage. Yeah, Noam does manage to take up the Q here. It's looking for the ult, does manage to get it. The Senna ult coming off on the side and the full power haymaker just rips his health power apart and yeah, Stanley's just running down Dean yeah he's, if he drops Q here Dean might be dead no not quite but he's gonna be out of the fight for sure yeah does manage to get a Q in response and Honan does manage to get picked up by the bot side here but you see that's sort of the problem when you rush Rod of Ages you didn't really have like the sticking potential that you do with mm -hmm. the Rylize and Dean does manage to get away here Stanley drifting so close. I agree, honestly. Was very close. I do genuinely think if he had the Rylize there, Dean's dead 100% of the time. He never gets away there. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what AP items build into, but... Uh, uh, he's I don't not know. going is that, for it. Is that a Rylize? That's a Black Fire Torch, I think. Oh, okay. Or it could be a Archangels. So it's opting for like a heavy mana scaling build, so he never goes out of the queue. I guess that's okay. Uh if you're already committing to this, Evan does manage to dodge the bubble here. Uh, Mr. Rungus Chang Yuan is also down here in the bot lane. Uh, probably just going to set up for this dragon play. Is going to be the next 5v5. Uh, Dean is top lane, but does have the TP. So can be at this fight. Uh, Gnome is going to go for the Hollow Radiance th second item here. Uh, in my personal opinion, I think Sunfire items are kind of dog shit on tanks right now. But I think it is pretty interesting to go for. Um... Looks like the dragon is going to be started up from the side of Andromeda. Dean is already down here, but they do just manage Avery to pick it up. Into the pit. He has no flash. He's going to ult someone. I think it was Apari. Or yeah, no? he did manage yeah, to ulti Apari. Apari. Uh, ulti coming uh, out as, here. This uh, fight is really sl all over the place. Apari is now stuck in the middle of. Oh track. my gosh! A big haymaker and then a big follow up bubble from Nami as well as the Ace Hole. Oh my god! They just, they just got fucking annihilated. It was a really rough fight. To shreds. Yeah, super good fight from the side of. Uh, Andromeda here. Uh, Rift Shark's opting for that fight without their jungle ult, which is like most of your combo. Uh, I think PB opened the fight with ulti, but like didn't really get a lot of value off of it. And Apari with the huge haymaker, or not the haymaker, yeah, the huge uh, what is it? the showstopper into the haymaker with the ulti on top with the Aesol. Uh, huge um, gold swing for the side of Andromeda here. Yeah, and before that fight started, I was about to say that Dean's making this hubris item work, but uh, there go all of his stacks. Yeah, super well played from the side of Andromeda here. Yeah, and I mean, if you're, if you're, and I think this is still like a dead even game. I mean, yeah. <laughs> the teams are literally two hundred, a hundred gold apart. Yeah, still a lot of game to play here for the side of Andromeda. Next objective is probably going to be the Baron. I think Rishlax really need to like play around the Samumu R. It is your strongest ability right now on your team. Uh, mm -hmm. You have to watch. Aesol wins every scrim game. So true, honestly. Um, you just really got to play around your... Oh, really good ulti from Dean here. Potential pick. A uh, good flash from Hoden to the... dodge out of the uh, solar, solar Flare from the Liana. Yeah. Solar Flare, and then Lithy with a good uh, bubble to, to help yeah. his escape. Nothing's uh, going to happen. Nothing's going to come out of that. Yeah, both ultis burned from the Liana and the Varus here, so definitely a fight. Yeah, I mean, it's really hard to tell who's who's ahead in this game. Yeah, it's still that even game. Uh, I think if anything, I'd rather be Andromeda here because you have two... two the Aesol scaling? At the same time, plus the Aesol scaling. Same time, Rift Sharks does have the Senna scaling. Um, so it's... I think Aesol does outscale Senna, to be, yeah. to be clear. Yeah, um, for sure. As But you also... On the on the side of Andromeda, you also have that Zerath who's gonna continue continue to just get stronger. Eventually, the lethality Varus is gonna fall off, and then every single Zerath Q is gonna be chunking you for more than the Varus Qs. Yeah, uh, Dean did also burn ulti there. Uh, huge poke from the <laughs> the Q here, but no one can reach Aesol. If Zerath was an MF, this game is unplayable. 
for Rift Sharks, but no one can reach Aesol anymore. Yeah, it is really hard for the side of Rift Sharks to reach the Aesol here, so... I mean, yeah, but it, you have so many ways to attempt to reach the Aesol, right? You have... Yeah. You have the Amui, you have the Leona, you have the Mordekaiser. If the Mordekaiser can press R, sure, the Mordekaiser is probably going to die there. <laughs> yeah. At least he's out of the fight for the majority of it, so he can't get a, a big ult off. Yeah, and it looks like... I, I mean, think yeah, Honan's really Qs are already doing more damage than, than, uh, than Dean's Qs. Yeah. Yeah, Looks I like mean, the man immune has been flipped here, so I think the Varus is a little stronger than before. But yeah, he's going for a Cyrilda's third item, which I think Cyrilda's third item is really underrated. On the lethality, Varus is actually really strong because you get on one lethality item with eighteen lethality, you get twenty percent, um, twenty percent. Uh, what, what's it called? Uh, armor pen. Yeah. Plus they they added the slow back in, so it's it's a really good item on Varus, I think. Yeah, they're just looking to set up Baron Vision here. Uh, looks like Andromeda is going to opt to try to start it here, potentially. Uh, Nob has been spotted out here with the W from Xerath, so... Yep. <clears throat> Definitely just trying to secure Baron Vision from the both sides. Uh, Dean is trying to push bot lane here, try to pick up this uh, solo tower, get some standing gold for himself. Yeah, and both teams are still deadlocked. Game can't really advance from this state. Uh, but one team either needs to pick a fight and go for it, or just, uh, I don't know. One team needs to pick a fight or start an objective, we'll have to see. Uh, Dragon is coming up here as well, though. It is a Cloud Soul, it is kind of a worthless soul. But <clears throat> there is a potential uh, cheeky start the Baron while the other team's doing the Dragon. Aesol stack check. Uh, uh, Aesol is currently at 276 Stardust. Feels yeah. like Rishark can pop anyone if they cycle their CC ults. Yeah, but the problem is if they burn ults on one person, it's going to be super piped. Like, looks like they are going to try to opt for this dragon fight here. Uh, the Senna is on two items, so it is kind of strong. Does have a bit of DPS here, but we'll have to see what the play is. Uh, dude, this Hall of Radiance is bugging me so much in Gnome's inventory. Do not build Sunfire items in this meta, guys. These items are so dog shit. The stats are so bad. Uh, Vissel Mask <laughs> is right there, bro, if you need an MR item. I promise you, do not build Sunfire items. They do no damage. Dean is getting popped here by the fucking Aesol. It does burn the flash to get away from Apari. It's a good ult on the PB. Yeah, PB the ulti coming out. Here, Gnome does really get a done. pretty decent ulti here, but Zerath cannot be touched. PB dodging away and... Yeah, Dean is on the back line, but does get picked up, and Gnome does manage to get picked up as Andromeda kites away, and it looks like they are just going to give this dragon. So, one for one, but uh, dragon is still stacking. Evans trying to position a little more aggressively, but the stun comes out from Honan, oh, and another kill picked up. That looks like... So bad if you're... Oh no, Rift Sharks might go down. Aesol is just walking through the team, but uh, Mordekaiser is still Mordekaiser sure. and just walks through the it's entire team. But long. the Apari damage, the set damage is just too much, and it looks like another clean ace for Andromeda here. Yeah, and I mean, they are clean ace, but like stronger and stronger a as good this, for as for this game progresses. Yeah. There's, they just got themselves soul point on a, um, on a, a Cloud Soul. I don't. I think Cloud Soul is actually really good for them with the Cled and the, the set. Yeah. But, um, they're also just going to turn onto this Baron now. There's still 20 seconds on Avery. I, I think this just has to go uncontested by Rift Sharks. Yeah, definitely a bit of a rough spot for them. Uh, super well played from Apari there. Uh, Noam did manage to get a decent ulti, but he's just not actually tanky. Like, uh, Q coming in. The spike does come down, and the no, Baron no, steal from Noam. Okay! Okay! <laughs> Super well okay, played, good Q from Noam. An back into this game. I and it looks like the game... On to four, three of them, maybe? I think it's four. Avery. I'm pretty sure it's four. Let me check. I think so, too. Uh, Avery doesn't have it. Oh, no, it's only Avery on three. If have it, then it's only on three, yeah. Avery uh, didn't quite respawn in time for that. Super good from Noam. Uh, you can't find the correct items in the shop, but you can at least press smite. Good job. Proud of you, bro. <laughs> Hero steal, it will not matter at all. I kind of agree. But I do think it was a good steal from Gnome. They do manage to get some gold back for themselves. Avery does have a potentially a really, really big, big flank, flank here. Looking for the A soul here. Gets a good EQ off. The ulti Stanley comes out. In the flash. Ulti comes out from, Odin is from super low, as... but they opt to just disengage gonna, this fight real quick. Nothing's going to happen. Avery didn't have R there to try and burn the A soul down. Yeah. 
super well played. Uh, a good attempt from Rift Sharks, but just not able to do enough damage to really pick it up. Uh, you kind of... Yeah, super unfortunate. Uh, looks like they might be able to pick up a couple more towers, though, just really opening up the map for them, so... Yeah, I think that mid inner is going to be really big for them, especially since, uh, I mean, we already see Avery starting to take camps on their side. Atari's clearing up towards the mid lane. I think... I think that, um... That Sharks is just gonna back off here. Avery does. You're gonna try to cheekily take away the red buff. Does manage to get it, so. Yeah. But again, do you want that? Do you want that red buff on, on the Varus and the the? I mean, it goes to everyone, there? right? At this oh, point, at, give... oh, I thought it was 29 minutes. Nope, it's at 30, 20 minutes, or whenever you complete All your right. jungle item. I'm pretty sure. Looks like Avery All is right. going to offer a fight versus Mr. Rungus Cheng Yuan, an ulti coming out from the side of the Zerath, and he just gets fucking nuclearized, and now oh Dean God. is also caught out as well. The Q coming out, but does manage to whiff. The, you're seeing the amount of value that this black hole is getting. Lithi is going to start running at Dean. The fucking ult comes out from the Varus. Oh my gosh, that's a nuclear that's amount of damage. Really and does manage to pick one back up. Super well played. Uh, Apari does have an ankle here on the center. The E coming out, the stride breaker, and then the showstopper here coming out. A good ulti from Noam trying to keep his lady carry alive. The Haymaker does come out, but doesn't manage to pick anyone up. Uh, he's desperately trying to get more damage done. Kill the Senna. He still has his his Giga R up, so there yeah. might be another key from Noam here. here. Does manage to just start walking people down. Uh, super well played. Uh, stun coming out, but I think Hunan just might be dead here. And you're seeing the Conqueror damage coming out from Noam. Uh, the Iliandres is going to pick him up. Hollow Radiance Pog. Sorry, I'm and being facetious going, about it. But... Going Jack Show next item. It looks like. Yeah. This that now this is a good tank item, which amplifies all your stats, um, all your resistances. So you'll be actually tanky. Oh. Now imagine that item on Orn. True, true. It is a very good item. Uh, yeah. Does manage to pick up, pick it up. So it should be like at least a little more tanky than he already is. <laughs> if a pirate tries to one v three a couple more times, it's winnable for Rift Sharks. Yeah, he did have the follow up there, but I think Rift Sharks uh, know him with a really good ulti to defend his AD carry. Super well played from them. Uh, does mean that the ulti will be down for this potential dragon fight. But I think you always just try to keep your AD carry alive and try to keep... You got some gold back for yourself, so... Yeah, and I mean, you still have a lot of peel on the side of Rift Sharks. I mean, you have the you have the Mordekaiser, you have the Leona. The Senna R's have been pretty good as well from Evan. So, yeah. looks, like a, uh, looks like Andromeda is all rotating down. Dean is walking down from topside, but might be a little bit delayed to this fight. Uh, Lithi's just trying for, to... For a bush play here. Uh, Evan walks up, reveals their position. Lithi's going to just back out there. Yeah, but Rift Sharks has a really good position on this Drake. Yeah, definitely pretty hard for Andromeda to try to get in here for this fight. Uh, Dean wasn't here at the beginning of this fight to try to lay down some pokes. Still gets a really nice Q onto Lithi. Just drops a below ha uh, drops like a bit of HP down. Uh, Noam is one v oneing the Cled and does manage to get out the flash. So that's potentially pretty valuable. Uh, I believe the Cled still has ulti. Stanley with yep. the empowered ulti as well, so this is a potentially dangerous fight. Ulti coming down from oh, the Leona yeah, really onto the by Evan as as he just as Honan just gets popped by the yeah. by the Varus on the back line is. As Bean gets a good flank onto the two carries, but, but PB is right there to... to yeah, kill. Avery is dueling the R. set in the, in the Shadow Realm as well, and this is just a really good fight from Rift Sharks. going to win that as well. And that's, yeah. that's three kills going down to, to Noam, and then a... Yeah, I think that was a really good engage from Rift Sharks, honestly. I think they got like a really creative angle onto the fight from... <laughs> The Amumu, like, I think Noam is playing this Amumu phenomenally well. Uh, found a couple of really clutch ultimate spots for his team, and just found a really good angle with... Uh, I think PV also got, like, a really good ulti snipe as well. <laughs> I, I think the I think the root snipe was the, uh, the Senna W, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, Senna got a really clean root snipe, and then PV threw the ulti down immediately, followed up by the Senna R, and just fucking obliterates Honan in that fight. Super yeah. well played from Mishraks, though, overall. Uh, really utilizing the Wombo combo and peeling super well for their carries, so... Definitely still a lot of game left to play in this series, though. Yeah, uh, we thought it was over for, for Rift Sharks a couple of minutes ago, but... But they've definitely swung I mean, back. Just, One K go, or yeah, 5k gold lead now. A, a clean 5 for 0. Yeah, definitely what you want to see. Um, next objective is going to be the Baron, though. And I think you're seeing like the value that PB brings to this team. The fucking... 
division control that he's had on these objectives bot side before they started the bear or started the dragon was super clean and just netted his team so much advantage in these fights like andromeda really could not approach from uh any angle and just got fucking pinched as uh evan landed the really good route so super well played to uh Rashark's vision control i think so yeah and and andromeda is gonna set up some vision onto the baron but then back off give Rift Sharks the ability to come in and, and recontest the vision. vision on their own. Yeah. Uh looks like Dom is gonna go for the Bramble Vest, potentially for the Thorn Mail. Uh I think it's an interesting build here. I honestly think you could have just opted for another uh MR item. Because like yeah. who is who A D is gonna kill you? I guess the set will kinda kill you if you don't build some armor to like mitigate his ulti damage. But, but then again, if the set is hitting you, then you're winning that fight. Yeah. I think you could probably have just gone I think it's like fine. Like it's, I, I think move items are kind of irrelevant. So yeah, that is the goat support for you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. Uh, second only to Psycho Carrot, my beloved. But, but yeah, uh, looks like Evan does have the. <laughs> looks like Psycho or sorry, Evan does have the Black Cleaver, and the Borg here is definitely really online with the uh, Runans as well. Going for the tanky like. AoE Senna build, so I'm curious to see what the play is around this Baron. It is definitely going to be the next objective. Uh, Rift Strikes is looking for a lot of damage here, or Rift Strikes is looking for a lot of vision here, just try to secure their Wombo combo to go off super well. So I'm curious to see how Andromeda really wants to approach this fight. Like, uh, you really need to uh, the set to just ulti whoever. I think you need to start using your set ult as a uh, disengage tool for the side of Andromeda. Like, if you see the Amu getting in with the Q, you just try to fling him back into the enemy team before he can press R. I think that's your avenue to success in the, these team fights. Like, you really need to make sure that your ace ult doesn't get uh, chain ulted with the uh, combo and just try to get the support. Yeah, but you still have the same problem that, that Honan faced last fight oh, where Eon from PB. doesn't even have to get close to you to kill you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I do agree, but I think that's their, like, only avenue, really. Like, I think yeah. that has to happen in order for you to win. Uh, Bean is also just foot flushing uh, and getting a lot of value here, so. Yeah, Rift Sharks is going to start up this Baron. Bean does have TP, and there's a TP ward. He's just going to opt not to TP into the pit or into um, into the red buff push, but oh, in but the mid lane, he's probably going to look for an ult here. Yep. Omen, there's the Conan ult. Does no, able to oh, the Baron. but the fucking oh, Haymaker God, so nukes him out of the fucking the fight. And it looks He's like gonna continue to go Evan's desperately is, trying to kite. Avery yeah, does manage to get the... Avery's going to pick up the Aesol in the Shadow Realm, and then... Ulti does come out from the center. Might be able to save him here. Oh. Dean's trying to stick with him, and it looks like... Conan's able, Conan to, get able to get one, but away. Dean is also going to go down as well. And PB's going to be the only one left with Baron. Oh, actually, Evan managed to survive there in the back, so he's going to have... Yeah, he gets well. away. I think it, Dean also committing to that fight might have been a mistake. I think he could have gotten out and gotten to... Uh, or three barons, but I think two might be enough for you guys to win the fight. A little bit of a messier fight, but the baron does manage to get secured by Noam. Good smite from him. Uh, yeah. Still a super close game. Still, I think, pretty up in the air. Uh, yeah, I mean, we thought it was we thought it was over, but I mean, team fights are going both ways at this point, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, both teams are the, <laughs> both teams are way. trying. Uh, Apari with the fourth item, heart steal. This has to be grief, my brother in Christ. There's no way this is correct, bro. We're forty <laughs> minutes into this game, and you're building a heart it's steal. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. He rolled uh, steal your heart. Yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. He it's rolled steal your really heart. Uh, that's not actually heart steal. That's um. The, the one TFT item that builds out of S plus uh, Crit Glove. Yeah. Plus 10% durability, I think, surely. And it looks like the dragon is coming up. This is going to be the next fight. Uh, no, all ultis are up, so they're just going to desperately try to fist fight for this. Uh, Noam has been playing these Amumu fights pretty well. It looks like Rift Sharks is going to start up the dragon here. Apari is walking in. The Q coming out. Oh, the W. Oh my gosh, so much HP. The ulti coming out. Apari has a really big A solo uh, move down, but it's not going to matter. Clad is on the, back line. Forward onto the back line. But isn't managed able to pick anyone up. And it looks like both two, like, a uh, really yeah, uncoordinated that. engage from the side of uh, Andromeda here. Like, the Clad was on the back line, but uh, wasn't there when Apari was going in. So it looks like... They do manage to take 
Fifteen percent durability when above half, and eight percent when below. You bronzy. Okay, that item fucking cool, man. Looks like Nob is gonna ulti onto the Zerath here. Potential kill. Yeah, Honan walking up to try to damage. steal, but <laughs> the Mubu ult does do too much damage. TV hitting another okay, TV Zenith blade, and TV it looks like <laughs> I think that's just gonna be game. Yeah, super well played from Rift Sharks here. Does manage to yeah. close out the game here. Um, I think Noam has been getting a lot of really good engages with PB. Uh, Shoutouts to him. Uh, super good game from him, I think, just to like really shut down this set. And it's called Said Fast Heart, you bronzy? Okay, sue me, man. He built Heart Seal at fucking 40 minutes. Bro's a fucking griefer. All right. I, think, I think we were both in agreement that Steal Your Heart is the arena augment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we knew that one. <laughs> The TFT <laughs> item, I wasn't sure. My bad, dog. Um, who do you think got MVP in this draft? Or in this game? Uh, that's such a hard... That's so hard. Because, I mean, like, early game PB was getting so much value. I think he mid was game, just so consistent, too. Like, he didn't yeah, really drop off. It was it was Avery doing so much in the team fights, And then late game, Noam started doing crazy. I think, honestly... I think I have to give it to PB. I mean, he was doing so much the entire game, not just in the early game. Yeah. Okay, but my heart really wants to give it to Noam, though, so I can shed this title of being number one Noam hater. Because, okay. like, all of his okay. ults were can, so good. I can get behind that. And, like, behind that. the amount of times he ulted a parry right as he was about to try to get the huge haymaker off and, like, rip his entire team apart, I think it's really good. The only reason I can't say it definitively is because this brother built Hollow Radiance on in 2024. <laughs> like, my brother in Christ, we cannot find Abyssal Mask in the Shopkeeper, bro! Come on, man. Okay, okay, we can give it to Noam. You know, yeah, I'm, I'm down to give it I'm to Noam. I'm a little biased towards giving him MVP. Yeah. Uh, so... Now I'm beating the bias allegations, and you're being... Well, I'm not beating the bias I'm allegations. I'm beating the bias allegations. Don't yeah, worry. you are. Uh, uh, do you have any draft adaptations you want to see from uh, Andromeda? I don't know if the Varus was as strong as we wanted it to be. Uh, I think Dean definitely got like a lot of good kills off. But um, Yeah, I mean, the problem, the problem with the Varus is that you really need to win before you get to the late game. Yeah. Um, and I think... I think it's better in ADC. Like if if that was Evan on the the Varus, you have so much damage. Like you yeah. can just burst somebody down in the in the early game. Oh, let me open. Uh, have they made draft links yet? No. Okay. Uh, let me do assets real quick, and then. All right, and then I'll be right back as well. Uh, uh Let me. Let me do this shit. Uh, Well, as we wait for draft for game two, uh, only yourself to not get MVP before. Yeah, I'm beating the Noam allegation, Noam hater allegations. Um, if he can find items that are not called Hollow Radiance in the store next game, I think he will for sure do better. But super good series from him. Um, stopping a lot of the haymakers before Pari was able to get them off, and just really making sure that the set had no avenues to play the game. So super well played from him. Um, in terms of adaptations, I think the Varus kind of got what they wanted. They got like three bands out of it that were for free. And then if they also want to send an AD carry still next game, like you can still draw like a bunch of bands. But like, I'm curious to see what the adaptation is going to be. Um, I think the Mordekaiser surprisingly did sort of just wall up the shit out of Bean. So I'm curious to see what happens. 
can we just draft an ADC and make it playable from Andromeda? Yeah, I kind of agree. I think Andromeda really what it really did show that you were lacking in the DPS department. Uh, it's super important to get an ADC nowadays. Um, yeah. Also, I really want to read this banger ass conversation between Psychocare and Rex, so I might just do that on uh stream here. I generate gold because you know the kill is ninety nine percent possible. Or because you have nothing to do to farm due to timers, so... Oh, yeah, I can't count it. So, like, game, you, you, st you gain as a full killer or not to generate pressure. Still not. That dude is so good at high elo. Can see her gaming. All right. Sorry, oh, can what, you speak about of... potential draft stuff? I really want to read this goofy ass conversation between Rex and Psycho Carry. All right, and then you're gonna and then you're gonna have to give me a synopsis once you're done. Yeah, yeah, I got you. I got you. I will read. Um, I will give you the cliff notes. Don't worry. I mean, I think, I think uh, we had a good take in the chat where. Jin wasn't actually, I think, picked or banned that game, but he is a really strong champion. Yeah. And I and it's a really high hone and priority champion, right? So I wouldn't be surprised to see either that banned away this game, or I mean, do we know who has side? Who what what side everybody's on? Um Mason. Oh, what'd you say? Do we know do we know sides? Uh no, they haven't posted drop links. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I don't think I don't think we have many Ash players on the server, um, mm -hmm. but I think Jin is a very strong Honin champ. I think Lithy's been playing it in solo queue as well, so I wouldn't be surprised to see that picked up this game. I think Honin's been performing really well on it when it's left up, um, and then and I haven't seen I don't recall Lithy playing it in in scrims, so I don't know how she's been doing on that. Um, but I I wouldn't be surprised to see that picked up. I think the Varus wasn't as big of an issue as we initially thought it would be. Um, I'd be interested to see if there's any other first picks that um, that are that are going to be looked at there. I'm I don't think Rift Sharks is gonna. I don't think Andromeda is gonna ban it. I mean, yeah, it's it's gonna be hard to. I think Apari's set did a lot of work as well. It's gonna be hard to try and get him off of a champion he's comfortable on because I mean, right? You banned three of his champions. He just picks the fourth. Um, Avery I, I don't think you can ban Avery out like I think the options for for Rift Sharks here in terms of bans are going to be just trying to ban Honan and Lithy out get rid of the Thresh get rid of the Kane on Apari is an essential as well yeah. but beyond that like your third ban is what did they ban last time? banning something they picked I think it was Thresh and Caitlyn Draft started? Um, okay, draft started. Uh, the draft link's not there? Oh, there they are. Oh, uh, oops. Um, All right, hold on. Uh, give me one sec. Oh, wow, they're already done with the draft, and it looks exactly the same as last game. True, true. All right, Um. so the bans this time for... Did they, did, did they already show? Hold on. The bans this time were uh, Kane, uh, Thresh... Uh, set from the side of Rift Sharks and the bands from Andromeda were the same as well. Looks like uh, Rift Sharks is still going to go with the Varus Blind, and this time Andromeda has opted for the Ash and the Lux here for the bot lane, and Noam is going to be once again on the Amumu. Uh, I don't really need to say the thing again for the third time, but I'm curious to see what he builds this game. Um, could yeah, also be just... he's been uh, watching stream, although I don't think that's allowed. Hopefully Dean can hear me from the other room and just tells his jungler to stop fucking griefing. Screaming really loud. <laughs> yeah, that. But it looks like it might be the Alistar pick for PV here. Uh, similar to Leona, just a really strong engaged champion. Uh, with the unstoppable on the R as well is like super durable. So it's just another combo comp, uh, comp for this side of Rift Sharks. Mm -hmm. And it is going to be the Viego for uh, Andromeda here. Um, yeah, you ban the set, you get the you get the other and you you ban oh, i don't know where i'm going with that i'm not gonna 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it, bro. Don't worry. Um, Viego is just Abari's default champion at this point. Uh, I don't know how much value it's going to get here. Uh, looks like Andromeda has wisened up to the mid lane bans and have just opted to start banning out topside instead of mid. Um, <clears throat> so the various pick is getting a little less value than last time, but uh, I think the value has already been obtained since last draft. So uh, Darius ban coming out, uh, just banning away Avery's stronger champions. And we'll have to see what is the next ban for Rift Sharks here. Aesol, ban on Stanley. I, I respect that the Aesol did a lot of work last game. Absolutely. I like this ban. Um, uh, and, I mean, you have to you have to ask, like, what remaining lanes are there? I mean, you have you have Bean, and you have... Uh, could be a Kled ban. Stanley, who haven't picked. Could It could be a Kled ban. Uh, it could uh, also be Stanley Top, but I feel like Avery just gaps the shit out of Stanley, but... Looks like it is going to be a Mordekaiser ban uh, from Andromeda. He did sort of clap some cheeks up in the top lane, so. Mm -hmm. i have to see what the bans are going to be. I wonder if they'll revisit the Senna. I kind of doubt it. I felt like the Senna... I think... I, actually, I don't know. I think the Senna was kind of good. I think I haven't played it a while, so I'm curious to see if they'll revisit it. And yeah, so the I, mean, Ash I think the Senna, the Senna felt like it was doing a lot, but I think it just wasn't doing very much damage. Yeah, it looks um, like it is going to be a not the, that's, Ultimately, that's not the goal of the Senna. Yeah, but when you when you pick like a Varus, you 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 need like a high damage top laner if you want to pick the Senna, which is exactly what Avery <laughs> provided. Yeah, definitely. Uh, also, they had like a couple good ults. Like uh, he was ulting him every time they came out of the Shadow Realm, like immediately. Yep. So I thought the synergy was pretty good there. But looks like it's going to be a Garen pick. Okay, okay. Uh, hot tech. This could be the Garen mid. Uh, we've been seeing a lot of Garen mid and LCK, I believe. Um, I wonder if Stanley can play the Garen. Uh, what am I saying? Literally anyone with fucking hands can play fucking Garen, bro. My bad. But we'll have to see what the counter pick's gonna be from Rift Sharks. And I mean, that's a, that's a, that's an interesting flex angle, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it's a very legitimate flex up, angle. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we're yeah. egoing the Riven into Garen. Riven that's into freaky, Garen. bro. I'm pretty sure this matchup yeah, is unplayable for Riven, no? It is, it is unplayable for the Riven if I am remembering my top lane matchups correctly from four or five seasons ago. A little uh, bit of ego in this one. Okay, okay. Last pick is going to be the ADC or the mid, depending on where that Varus is going. Um, I would expect this to be an ADC. Rise! Okay, oh, it is the Rise ADC. Green. Okay. Is that ADC? Rise or Varus? Uh, it's gonna be rise. It's gonna be rise mid, okay. and then Varus eighty k. Yeah, I could mean, be Alistar a or Varus is a good combo. Yeah, definitely a good combo. Uh, lots of engage options, but uh, I think I saw Vigar V two on Twitter talking about how uh, Archangel's Roa uh, into Abyssal Mask is really strong on rise. You have a lot of damage, and it is going to be the Oriana locked in for Stanley. Oh, God, I kind of hate Andromeda's comp. They have no champion to deliver the ball for Oriana in an efficient manner. Uh, Garen is, like, really good in side lane and should, like, absolutely clobber this ribbon, but, like... And again, you have really good pick potential for them. You yeah. The, I mean, but that's only from the Lux Ash, right? And then yeah. that's going to make the Viego happy. Yeah. Able to get uh, that first reset. They have, Almost like, no guaranteed. engage, though. Ugh, I don't know. It's literally just rely on Ash, Arrow, and Prey. No. Yeah. I, I think so. <sighs> I mean, yeah, I guess. Outside of Rift Sharks, you have, you have the Alistar and the, the Amumu, and we know Gnome and PB are going to be on point with those engages. I think this... Draft again feels pretty Rift Sharks favored. Yeah, if, uh, you're, if you're on the side of Rift Sharks, I mean, like you, you have so much poke with that Varus, and then Andromeda is not going to be able to engage on you, so you can just literally just sit there, do nothing, take objective control first, wait for Rift Sharks to be, wait for Andromeda to be forced to walk into you while putting down a lot of poke with the Varus. Yeah, definitely. All while Ribbon's pushing a side lane. I feel like Zin would have been a bit better. I tend to agree. I think Zin's out would have helped Andromeda's draft a lot, but you already opted into the Viego. I don't know. Oh, God. 
I, yeah, I think Rift Strikes definitely has a really easy comp to play here. You have a lot of engage options. Uh, the Rise can also just go to whichever lane is starting to win and just sort of help them out with the Realm Warp. Uh, I've been playing a lot of solo queue with Taxi, and he's been really performing on the Rise, and Champ did just get buffed, so I'm curious to see if Dean Jones can perform on the Rise as well. Um, very excited to watch this game, though. I think... Yeah, should be interesting. Rift Sharks, I think, is definitely favored, though. Well, I'm still catching up on the Psycho Care Rex shenanigans. Uh, rule of thumb, you should never 3-camp. I'm sure, I guess, if you want to suck balls at League of Legends. I love this taxi guy, bro. That's crazy. I love how it's all entirely 101 thieves just like fucking clowning each other on fucking macro. This is. Guys, if you're not in Scrimzone LOL and you don't get to read the delicious takes by the one and only Psycho Care, uh, you should join the server just to read them. They're so good. <clears throat> yeah, it's, uh, it's certainly an experience to watch Psycho Care argue with literally everybody on the server. Yeah. He's a good player for the record. I think he's pretty good on yes. Pike. But um yeah. <laughs> just watching him try to defend how you shouldn't really three gank. It's kind of funny. Oh man. Who do you do you think this is gonna go to a game three? Uh I don't know, man. I'm curious to see if it goes to game I three. Think when Rift Sharks has this much of a draft advantage, it's going to be an uphill battle for Andromeda. Yeah, I'm going to say it is the. I'm, okay, I will tentatively say this is the Rift Sharks 2 0. I think I, I think I generally agree. It's going to be up to individual players on Andromeda to really find advantages. I mean, Bean has a good matchup into Avery, but we saw how the good matchup that Bean had last game went. Um, I, I don't know anything about the Rise Oriana matchup, uh, but what I can tell you is that Rise is probably going to be more useful late game than the Oriana without, uh, with how little setup Andromeda has for the Oriana. In my opinion, I, I I think Oriana can find really good value if you're like cracked on it, but it's going to be so much easier for Dean to find value. Um, but then Stanley. I mean, uh, uh, Viego, Amumu, what are your thoughts on that matchup? I think it's pretty Viego favored. Uh, early game, okay. Towards the game, Amumu starts to outscale once he gets one item. My opinion is the matchup is kind of bad for Viego. Um, Amumu actually can kind of duel you in the 1v1s with the Conqueror. Mm -hmm. And then uh, because of how his E works, because it gets refund on autos, the way Viego passive works is just it gives him free stacks. And then, like, if you hit your Q and just hit him with the ulti, like, Amumu actually kind of dogs you in the one v one if you don't play it correctly. I see, I see. Oh yeah, I didn't. I didn't think about the uh, Viego passive giving Amumu more ease. Yeah. Um, Amumu is like actually a really, really sneaky good one v one champion because of how your E works. Uh, if you're into mm -hmm. like auto attack based champions, so I think it's a good pick into the. Or I think Apari kind of counterpicked himself a tiny amount. But um, yeah, I, it is his most played champion, so. Comfort always wins IMO. Mm -hmm. And then bot lane, I think it's, I think bot lane really depends on how long uh, Evan and PB can survive in lane. Yeah. Right. The the Ash Lux is gonna evaporate you early game. They're gonna have so much pressure early game. But if if you can get to level six into them, I think PB can just tank everything. Press R and cleanse both the Q and the R. Cleanse like the uh, the Lux Q and the Ash R. Just continue to walk at them, get some get like a WQ Varus with one shots from there. How long is this wait to get in game? I swear to God. I just want to watch some League of Legends. That's what I'm saying. Uh, That's so, why I'm here. 
So the TLDR, I think, from the Psycho Carrot Rex conversation is Psycho Carrot is saying it is rarely worth it to three camp into gank, and it's risky when you do, and in this meta, it's honestly better at almost all levels to just never three camp, because even if you read the situation right, the risk reward is barely worth it, I'm sure. I guess technically you are correct, but... Uh, this is just incorrect, though. I I was thinking about it the other day. I feel like escape rooms are so popular, right? They should make like break in rooms. <laughs> no, no, no! You're you're cooking. You're cooking. I'm with this. Just like, like sorry, continue. You have, you have like a a room that you're trying to break into mm -hmm. to do something. I don't know what yeah. that thing is, right? My immediate assumption is like you're trying to break into like fucking assassinate someone. I don't know. Dude, um, that'd be kind of fun, Loki. But like, but like, imagine you have to like go around, like look for angles to get in, like fucking like maybe pick the lock or some shit. I don't know. That would be crazy. Or like maybe they get, maybe you can, maybe you like pay for like a pane of glass that you just like shatter with a fucking sledgehammer and then just like sneak in through the window. That would be crazy. I feel like that I feel like I have a business model here. And then you you like pay for like a, a sugar glass window, right? Sorry, what'd you say? What if you what if the the <laughs> what if the break in room you like part of the entry fee was that they have like a sugar glass window and they give you a sledgehammer to break in. <laughs> That'd be kinda awesome. But I feel like the appeal of uh escape rooms is uh more that they are, how do I phrase this? They're like a puzzle to solve. And break-in rooms, it's like, you have to set it up in a way where the break-in is like a puzzle, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, obviously there would be some of that, right? You would have to make it a puzzle, but like, how cool would it be to just break in a, break a window and then just like climb through the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, you're, you're onto something. That's, that's a cook, bro. I'm with that. Uh, Anyways, we are controls. in game now. Um, yeah. Rift Sharks is looking for an invade on top side. I don't think they're going to get anything out of it except a deep ward onto Apari's Raptors. I don't yep. know what side of the map he starts on and what kind of. Wait, I'm back. Doing. Rise, yeah. Dean is on the rise. Uh, you're you're here. Taxi, it's up. It's time. The buffs are through, by the way. This is buff rise. So. Yeah, Honan pushing up a little far here, but I mean he's Ash. You can't really walk up to him early game. It is going to be honing on the AD carry as well, so uh, let's see if he builds Phantom Dancer first item again. <laughs> Surely he's learned. Surely. Um, I was actually talking to Tusini recently about Ash builds. I was in favor of the Shiv first, but he was very much a, a Kraken Slayer guy. I must say I was absolutely wrong there. Kraken does so much more damage and is so much more useful than Shiv. Like, Ash doesn't really need the extra wave clear um, that you get from Shiv and it just feels so useless until late game if you, if you get that item first. IMO. Um, fight breaking out in the top lane. I mean, it, it, it maybe not fight is not the right word. Quick trades coming in in the top lane. Yeah. Avery starting the Ego first item two into the Ego matchup. Um, going to pick himself up a long sword. Doesn't get full gold value, but he's going to get to his first item a little bit quicker. Yeah. Um, but so I'm are probably going to offer the full clear here. I'm going to say this a lot, but like a little yawn. All right, oops. As Andromeda gets level 2 first, they're going to try and press the advantage a little bit. They're going to get some poke down, but not much more than that. Honestly, yeah. that's uh, this is kind of how we expected the bot lane to go. Ash Lux is so good in the early game. Uh, and Alistar is not a champion level 1, so at the very least you have level 1 prio. Maybe beyond that it starts to be a little bit more unsafe, but it's so hard for PB to get like a quick engage and then run away into the Ash. Uh, Stanley pushing Dean in early game. Again, this was pretty expected. Yeah. Um, uh, Oriana has, has a lot oh. better wave clear. Potential evade from the Garen here. Game. Yeah. 
Nothing really happens. Walk at him. Uh, Riven is yeah. conceding Blade a little bit to the Scarin. Uh, hard to get prior on Riven here. Looks like Dean is just sort of getting poked out here. I think he has Resolve secondary? Let me look. Yeah, he has Bone Plating. Huh. Interesting. I, I, I'm surprised he didn't go for Second Wind there. Yeah. Um, although that's the, that's the minutia of the game that maybe we don't need to worry about. Just like True. how... Junglers, uh, just like jungler builds, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course, of course. I small, should small never details. focus about drug. Yeah, 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 correct. Uh, looks like I know I didn't opt for the full clear. Uh, just did four camps into uh, scuttle crab. Pari did opt for the full clear into the reset. This is pretty standard jungle stuff. Uh, does have the double longsword and the pink ward on base. Uh, not much you can really do right now. Uh, Balin did get the early push as the Alistar. Versus the Alistar here, uh, as expected, fit the Lux Ash. So, yep, and I mean that's that's pretty expected. The wave uh, is bouncing. So the, for... the Ash yeah, is the... out of mana, and like you said, the wave is bouncing in in favor of Rift Sharks here. That's gonna maybe give them an angle to walk up a little further. But the problem is, oh, I mean they just Andromeda's bot lane just has so much wave clear. I mean Lux presses yeah. E, Ash presses W, and the Varus can't really walk up right now. PB is trying to look for something here. Um, probably not going to find anything. I mean, they just they Andromeda's bot lane just walks away, and the Paris here in, in case an extended fight breaks out. Not yeah. Able to come for a, for a quick engage, but if if <sighs> Richard tries to commit to anything long term, Ooh, combo coming out from PB. PB the aftershock the, is coming. Combo. Oh, the damage is coming out. That's a lot of damage. And yeah. That's, yeah. I mean, that's the that's the volatility of a. Uh, bot lane on the side of Rift Sharks, right? PB gets one good engage and... Yeah, and super good combo from them again. as well. Uh, the new damage on the E for Varus is fucking disgusting, and Alistar just Lithy not respecting the Alistar damage and just getting one for yeah, one. I mean, this and might be a carrot. Oh. oh, where'd that Q go, Evan? I mean, it doesn't Evan? matter. She, uh, Lux had the barrier, but he's gonna flash forward not quite get the kill, and he's gonna take oh. power here. That's so unfortunate. <laughs> okay, that uh, check, was unfortunate. check PayPal, Evan. Happens to the best yeah. of us. Yeah. But I mean, it's not. I'm. This might be cope, but it's not the end of the world for Rift Sharks. Yeah, it's still basing uh, on the. Is, that is a crashed wave, so that's a. Honestly, like, you're only <laughs> losing like 150 gold. Off yeah, dying there. And the uh, the Dirk and Longsword versus the Vamp Scepter plus Boots for Rift Sharks. Yeah, like your combat power is so high. Damage difference. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm very glad he didn't build a call fields first. Um, although I am questioning the extra long sword instead of a tier there. Yeah, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, Apari is here on the stop lane. Uh, Avery might get collapsed on here. Uh, Mumu is on the grubs right now. But uh, the sun is coming out. Spun off. Um, oh, the flash! Avery trying to get out here. here. He flashes out, but Apari follows up with a flash of his own. As Gnome comes in here, he might be able to get... Gnome is, like, right? eight centuries too late for this play, though. And uh, yeah, does manage to go down here. Alt mid. PB manages to get a good roam, burning the uh, the Orianna's flash there. I mean, that's Apari's flash down, Orianna's flash down. There's no no kills dropping except for the, the kill onto Avery. Like, yeah, I don't know why Gnome didn't just drop the camp and just walk over. Like... Uh, okay, sure, I guess. Uh, does manage to pick up two grubs here. It's not going to take the last one. It's just going to try to de leave it up, I guess. I don't know what's happening here, man, but sure. I guess, bro. I don't know. I mean, this... I feel like if you're if you're Honan and Lithy here, you just... The, the wave was bouncing back into you. Alistar's nowhere to be found. You just walk way past that wave and do nothing. Yeah. You try to poke down the Varus, but Varus is just... Chunk of them with Q's from Africa, so yeah, that's uh, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, His various champions kind of strong, not gonna lie. Potentially, Apari uh, is just gonna start the dragon here. Apari uses, yeah, uh, Apari uses the prio that Hone and Lithia have picked up for themselves to pick up that Drake. Yep. But I mean, Evan's still doing so much damage, dodging everything from Lithia and just applying so much poke down. Yeah, I wonder if we'll see the matchup really start swinging towards uh. Mr. Rungus Cheng Yue in here. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, far, so not much has a lot happened, really, but... Yeah. Uh, so far, the gold lead is in bit. 
or not the gold lead, the kill lead is in Andromeda's favor, but the gold lead is still in Andromeda's favor just because I think they're CSing a little bit better, especially in the bot lane. Uh, Evan is a little more familiar on the AD carry role than Honan. Ulti coming out from Varus here, yeah, and the all star combo is coming out. Oh, no, the damage the coming out. From Varus, that, the that would have been a dead Honan. Yeah, that's super and bad. Then, a flash honestly, Honan might well. just run them down here. Gnome's in the area. Same with Apari, but Gnome's going to get here a little bit earlier. They do spot him out on awards, so they're just going to back out. No harm, no foul. Yeah. Honan might be walking up a little too far here. Maybe trying to bait something out, but Apari's not in the area. Apari is just there. going to continue his clear. Back out there. Yeah, this is this is a hard lane for Avery. I mean, Bean also has a freeze set up here if he chooses to. <sighs> I love yeah. this. Yeah, opt to just continue to apply pressure. Maybe yeah. try and get an invade top side. Oh, potential dive here. He's gonna miss. Honan Ooh, the no flat. Just use it to try and get top lane, but yeah, this is just gonna be an easy dive for for the side of yeah. Rift Sharks. Yeah. The flash Alistar into the binding so was kind easy. of funny, but uh, yeah, Alistar just walks at them and clicks all his buttons, and he's dead. So I'll play it to the side of Rift Sharks here. Yeah, well set up. Yeah. Uh, Fari is gonna get the blue side or the blue buff on the other side, so he will be typing worth in all chat if I was him. But yeah, <laughs> and, uh, and I mean, every single even trade that Avery takes is a losing trade for him because the Garen just regens it all back up. Yep. Looks like the phase rush is going to yeah, be blocked. Yeah, I mean, look at here. how much damage this Garen is doing. This might actually be a kill for Riven Ooh, here, though. But, but nope. Garen's able to turn around with, <laughs> with the Mossy Justice, R, but... baby. <laughs> Hell yeah! I'll play it. Truly. He truly spun. Yeah. He truly won. Uh, I thought that was going in, in Avery's favor. Avery's, Avery's favor for a second there with the big shield he got from his E, but that just wore out so quickly. And below a third health, bye bye. Yeah. Super well played from Bean, I guess. If you want to call it a Garen outplay, well played. Sure. He knew his he damage. Just, yeah. What can I say? Is a party just chilling in this blue bush? It you lose this like 1v1, it. brother. <laughs> Pinky swear. Oh, he knows. He saw, he saw Noam. But He's I just going to base? He's there in the area. He's just going to base. Yeah, that's a safe play here. Because <laughs> you don't know where anybody is on the side. You don't know where Pinky nah, is. Nah, I would that 5 real fucking dog. Now. Cowardice. Woo. I'm just kidding. That is the correct play. You should be channeling base there. <laughs> Looks like uh, Rift Sharks might just offer the grubs here. They are 2k gold up, or 1k gold up right now. So uh, I think most of it's concentrated on bot lane. Another hubris rush on the Varus. I, is this some tech that I don't know about, or is it just Dean telling Evan to build it? Ooh, good combo, and looks like Evan might die here. Both flashes yeah, burned, and super well played. Uh, just hitting the combo and into death, uh, using that poke potential, or pick potential that they you talked about in draft earlier while uh, PB is bot lane, so. They do manage to get the grubs in response, though. This has been Rift Shark's MO, though. They kind of leave Evan on an island and have PB rotate around, so. And she to pick up six grubs here, potentially. Definitely pretty big. Do manage to get it. Apari is here though, but I don't know if you want to fight the Mumu and the Alistar. Honestly, if I was Gnome, I would just hit base and go for dragons. Uh, nope, looks like that is going to be the play here. He does have the ultimate. Uh, yeah, and if you're Rift Sharks here, you're very thankful that that uh, that that Garen doesn't have grubs right now. Yeah. Uh, Garen with Grubs knocking down your base is very fucking cancer to deal with, so. Uh, mid lane is a bit of a stalemate, though. Dean does have the Roa completed, so it is gonna opt for, like, the scaling setup. Uh. I have no idea what Stanley's building. Uh, but it could be Luden's Rush? I'm not sure. It looks like... There are too many mages in this game. Agreed. Two is too many. Facts. There should be three ADCs every game. That is my ideal world. Yeah, your ideal world sucks, by the way. Just so you know. Yeah, but then I can play whatever role I want. Yeah, but then we have to deal with the consequences of having three ADCs in every game. <laughs> you guys are the side characters in my 
Yeah, it's idea. called AD carry. It's called attack damage carry or whatever. Dean is caught here by Apari. Potential angle. The ball is going on to Apari here. No ulti's coming out just yet. Evan does manage to hit a pretty good route. Is chunking out Lifty, though. Evan might be a little bit too far your up ulti here. Still up for the Mumbu. Does manage to pick Honan here, but the ulti comes oh, out from the from the Lux. And Bean here. And Bean's going to have a really good angle here to try and get Gnome and PB. Yeah. That's so many of Andromeda's members collapsing onto them. Yeah. The Lux. Just be death. The Garret is also here, and it looks like they are managed. Buttons onto the Lux. I mean, onto the, um, onto the Rise. As Noah falls, and that's just going to be an easy Drake for Andromeda. Yeah. And that Garen is now 3 0 and 1. I Dean Red Patch notes he's playing everything on the buff list. Yeah, I told him to. Don't worry. Like, they definitely weren't practicing it before I said so. Don't worry. I want game three and see if he locks in Lissandra or something. Shit, that's what I'm saying, bro. Oh, did Lissandra get buffs? Yeah. Bean with the silly roam. Yeah, I mean, you're Garen, bro. You kind of don't care. Just show up to the fight, click all your buttons, and win the team fight for your team. Well played. True. Looks like it is going to be the Kemsel. Uh, Kemsel is pretty good. Uh, has managed to even out the gold lead. Uh, Griff Strikes is still close to 1k up, so. Despite being two dragons down, game is still pretty even. Stanley did just opt for the Archangel's Rush here. And yeah, that, that Varus sure is doing damage, but not quite as much damage as the last time Lethality Varus was meta. Yeah. Looks like Avery is still down a level from the Garen room. Uh, this matchup just never gets any easier for him, huh? Fight, but, yeah, it's so hard for Avery at this point. Garen is sort of just immortal. Press W into Outtrade. Nice. <laughs> I do appreciate the ego from Avery, though, knowing that this is a counter matchup and saying, fuck it, pick me anyways, let's just lose in peace. That's my goat right there. <laughs> Oh, arrow coming out does whiff on Not the side of Andromeda it. here. Good fish. If he's not quite in, in a position to, to follow up there, try and land a Q. Yeah. Onto onto either one of them. Uh, the little skirmish is just gonna fizzle out as Dean's able to pick up a tower bot side, maybe. I don't know if Honan uh, should be pathing like this though. This is sort of freakish pathing, no? Dean can't punish that. Like Dean's gonna respect it. <laughs> Avery best off of the server. What game one? Andy's <laughs> are eating their words. So true, man. <laughs> Surprised Dean isn't playing this more aggressively. You do have two levels on the Ash. There's no way this Ash can just disrespectfully walk up to you like that. I feel like, but it does have the Bork, so it might have a little more sustain. Yeah, that's a lot of damage onto both of them. Holden's gonna be able to protect that tower. Yeah. Uh, as Apari is just gonna look for Rift Herald here while. Um, Bean has so much prio in the top lane. Uh, <clears> yeah, I just go out here. A, good, a good uh, combo by PB. He's Stanley's going to be able to flash the Verisar and get out there. That's yeah. a that's a flash burned on the Oriana. She's now a very immobile carry with no stopwatch. Could be a potential flank here on Honan. The barrier coming out. The Q coming out from Amumu, and this should be a dead um, Ash here. The ulti comes out yep. and does manage there to pick up one here. Good play from Noam here. Uh, Rift Herald does go over to the side of Andromeda, but uh, people might say this Rift Herald objective is kind of fake. Uh, it does only typically manage to secure you one tower, so we'll have to see how they utilize it if they can break more than one. Uh, potential dive on to Avery here. Ari and Bean looking for a dive here. Uh, Pari's going to drop the Rift Herald. Press Avery's his, just going to go for the wave here. Button. Uh, no to give the last one. At the very least, going to be another Q dropped. for Noam here. Die here. A good Q by Noam, yeah, like you said. Potential dive on the table here. <laughs> Did Dean just take the Rift Herald on a drive, bro? That's hilarious. TP coming out from Dean. Maybe try to collapse here. Uh, nope, they're too fast. That's Barry Allen on the Garen right there. Harold sucks. Yeah, I agree. You only take that objective if you have nothing else to hit on the map, to be honest. So, Lithi well, does manage to hit a bind onto PB. I don't think it matters, like at all, like in the slightest. But yeah, very slow game so far. Uh, I think game one had like similar pace, but they were fighting a little more over the objectives. This one is just. A little bit of a snooze fest, I'm up. Uh... 
<laughs> Same. Yawn. Badge. Only 101 Thieves was in this game. That's what I'm saying. We need Drago to show us who the number one top is in the server. True. True. It's Avery, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Even Faker loses some games. True, true. Alright, Noam is still building a Sunfire item, so like I think I'm allowed to report him to the authorities for griefing. Uh, true, Fujir. If 101 Thieves was in this game, we would see three camp into gank. So true, so true. <laughs> Wait, are they still going, by the way? Do I need to check that? Okay, well. I'll read it. Faker is lost, unfortunately. Yeah, a little bit. Bro got his Ari skin and said it's time to retire. But it looks like the next objective fight is going to start breaking out here around this dragon. Um, potentially? Apari is just chilling in this bush. Uh, Avery is here yeah, as well, Apari, though, so it is going to really be a proper 5 5 Yeah. I think... Oh, I think Andromeda kind of just wants to stall out here until yeah. he can push on the bot side, or he, until he, he can come and be the front line that they need. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be so hard. And like Rift Sharks just walks walks up here and there's nothing Andromeda can do because they're split. They also kinda don't have a front line. Uh both Stanley and Lithium are getting like whew, a decent poke out, but uh Noam is half health and Biffing another Q. Uh arrow coming out onto Noam might not be able to get any value, and Apari does manage to get the shutdown here. Looks like the fight is gonna break out proper and two kills to start out with and wow, yeah, two I mean, for zero. Yeah, I mean that's the angle that um that Andromeda was looking for. That's what we talked about in champ select, right? If you can land a good arrow and just burst somebody down, Apari can walk in, take the free reset, and and then be the front line that you killed. Yeah. Yeah. Holy, that Baron effect was bright. Yeah. I don't know if I'm as a, much of a fan of Dean's Rise as I was the Varus. Uh, Bro has not done any kind of damage. He is still just kind of waiting to scale, though. Does have his Roa and Archangels up, so... Abs actually crazy that Andromeda wins the fight. I kind of agree. Like, Rift Sharks just kept whiffing Qs and could not find an engaged angle there. Um, looks like Avery is going to potentially take just the top tower in response, though. So, uh, the, the the Garen value that's been accrued this game has been kind of crazy, though. Like, Avery just cannot match this Garen, and he's kind of immortal, just Beyblading through the entire team. Looks like it might be a four-man attempt at a pick here onto the Garen. <sighs> Looks like Stanley is going to go for the potential Leandri second here with the Abyssal Mask, or not the Mask, the Haunting Guys. So. Noam still hasn't learned his lesson. Still has a Bami Cinder in its inventory. Yep. If he finishes Sunfire uh, Cape, I'm going to like shoot myself on camera, I think. <laughs> uh, yeah, I want to watch. Me shoot myself? That's... Kind of mean, bro. I don't know, man. No, I want to watch. Yeah, actually. Yeah, you're kind of <laughs> fucked up. You're right. But, like, it would be good content. It would be good status scrims. Oh, true, true, true. Uh, also, Frozen Heart here. value this game as uh, Amumu is kind of correct here. I'm surprised he's not opting for okay, it. Okay, Evan gets a good ult out, But the ulti comes out. The, 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 the cleanse here, comes out. Hone is looking to turn it around. Ooh, yeah, but you I lose the 1v1. Here. Oh, 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 my God. Oh, Evan my gosh. He's almost able to pick it up, but Ash gets it. Gets a kill at the last second. I think Evan died to minions there. Almost able to pick up Honan on that turnaround. Really good dodge on the That's left. That's my card, job. Not quite enough. <laughs> True. That's what I'm saying. Rise is going, Rise frozen, going heart. frozen heart. Yeah. Uh, the Garen is here. Uh, does have the angle onto Mr. Jones here. Uh, I think this is just a dead, dead. Blue I think man. the Rise just kites him. No, it's gonna be. We're gonna watch them run around in circles for a little bit though. All right, I'm in. I'm down. Dean, why are you kiting this? Bunny Hill team. <laughs> uh, oh, but the 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 oh, archangels. The, the, the archangel shield kind of baits Bean there, and Dean's able to pick that up. Uh, the frozen the and frozen heart emotes, components really come, coming in. Getting a kill. Yeah. Uh, just like you're not allowed to do. No, you're allowed to emote. You're allowed to emote. You're oh, not you're allowed, allowed to, to okay, stand okay. still. You're, okay, you can't alter the way you're playing the game. You can only use like the emotes that come up on top of the screen. Ulti coming out onto oh, okay. Lithy here, or Honan here, and does oh, manage to pick up the kill. Stanley, but 
Apari mm -hmm. is managing to get CC'd up here, but is now the Amumu ultiing out here, and the Varisult is being spread, but uh, they already got the kill onto Honan, so they got a decent amount of value here, and Ryze is going to be able to take the tower. He has started scaling as the Ryze here. Avery looking for more here, does manage to cancel Apari's base here, and it looks like mid tower and bot tier 2 are going down, uh, and potential pick on Lithi here. Q coming out, does not manage to pick her up, so well played yeah, from the side of First Sharks. This Varus, again, feels like it's not doing as much damage as it should be. Yeah, definitely not doing as much, but uh, your team is here to support you, so... Yeah. I mean, I think more than anything, right, the Varus is there to try and one-shot anybody who's CC'd by following up with R, then just charging up, charging up a WQ, waiting for your team to get him below half. Yeah. And it looks like the next objective fight is going to be around this Baron, so... Curious to see what the play is here. Um, the Amumu ulti combos with the uh, Alistar should be pretty strong here. Uh, he did go uh, Sunfire Cape. I'm going next in real life chat. It's over. Joe Arida. Uh, another another very even game with where Andromeda's up in Drake's. Uh, yeah, and Rift Drake's has a better team comp. Yeah, they're sacking a lot of these early objectives, but definitely getting a lot more in response. So, yeah, I mean, just having, but like if you're if you're Rift Drake's, like who do you have that's like super far ahead? I think it's just a little bit on everybody, right? Yeah. I mean, and, that's kind of good for your team, though. difference in, in mid and bot as well. Oh my gosh, wait. Hoden found items that weren't PD. He has opted for the Bork Terminus on Ash. Okay, that's a build. That's real. Yeah, a little bit. Especially especially into the Alistar and the Mumu. Uh, ulti Mumu coming out onto the... or uh, the What is this champion? Ash, but uh, Ash, Flash is burned. are also burned. That's no... That's Ferris are down for this fight. That's a really cool The ulti coming out onto Gnome. A reset coming out for the uh, Viego here. And this could just yes, be Dragon Avery for them. Look for a flank on the back, but... Yeah, yeah this I mean, should be free Dragon Soul. Again, uh, Gnome getting caught out there with, uh, with a really good arrow. Uh, Avery Norman. is here as well. They might try to flip this. Yeah, no, looks like gonna, they're not going no, to. No, I'm not up to get the steal this time. No, I can't play LOL, yeah. It is kind of hard for him. If he had, like, actual tank items, maybe he wins that, but instead he has this goofy-ass Sunfire Cape in his inventory. Uh, for the record, uh, what's wrong with Sunfire Cape? This item stats are dog shit, and you should be building other tank items and not Sunfire Cape. The damage is not that good, and you already have Leandris for your clear, so you should not be building this item as your jungler. It is so bad for your team, like, genuinely. Like, you would... I like, honestly, if you're playing a jungle tank and you have two carries, I'd rather just go Leandri's into Knight's Vow or Leandri's into Frozen Heart. Oh, looks he like a combo coming really out from... Flash engage here. Combo uh, here. Ulti comes out from... Nobody's there to follow up. Evan dies, but Avery's uh, able to come in way far from the backside. Uh, getting a lot of damage down as the Riven. The Ignite coming out for the Nimbus Cloak, but not a whole lot. He's going burn build, obviously. Well, he can burn in hell for building these items. Thoughts? As Bean is 1v1ing Bean in the side lane. Yeah, this Rise just rise is sort is so of strong. doing the EQ thing. Uh, and Especially with the Frozen Heart, like that Garen's not doing damage to him. Yeah, it's super well played from him. Uh, I did also want to th say, um, I think the Riven Flank was really good there. Uh, PB with a really nasty combo onto the two carries. Uh, Stanley was able to get his ulti off to one-shot uh evan before the fight started out proper so that way they at least got something back but yeah but i mean really well played fight by by Earth sharks overall yeah they're able to, to get that two for one yeah and next is after then... it's just going to be the dragon uh they do have the uh the chemsel but i don't know how much value it's going to have when the only person that really wants it is going to be the garen who gets easily matched by the rise who can press eq and kite so mm-hmm Yeah, and the Rise is the one with TP in that side lane, so if if Garen gets too low to contest the Rise, then Dean just TPs into the fight. Ooh, good Q. Oh, that's a big Q Chunky by, out by here. Evan. Starting to do some real big boy damage here. Yeah. Has the free item completion there and the Muramana upgraded. Yep. 
Avery is going to attempt to match the Garen here, but is also down a level. Dean is definitely the one that should be matching this, I think. But has yeah. opted to be top side here. Uh, looks like they are have sp they are trying to spot out the engage here from the side of Andromeda. Not much really happening. But yeah, yeah Dean I mean, is so strong. Rick oh my gosh. A, the face has a better position on the Baron, but... Yeah, but Avery is getting fucking collapsed in this 1v1. Yeah. The Ignite coming out. Oh, potential pick on Lithy here. Noam does manage to dodge it. Good ulti sidestep. Oh, Noam, yeah. Does manage to pick up Lithy here. Uh, combo coming out from well. Dean with a good TP. Flanking from the back there. Yeah, and I'm looks like Andromeda is just going to drop here. Just going to die. And that's probably going to be the Baron picked up for Andromeda. I mean, yeah. for Sharks. Yeah, super well played. <laughs> Bean is just Bean flash you. Pressing his button. Breaker. And just clicked all his buttons in order. Yeah. But, I mean, it can't be overstated how how strong that Garen is. But yeah, we saw the really and clean engage from the Amumu, though. Uh, Stanley is yeah. here. Does have the ulti? So, the ulti coming Stanley, out, but Stanley gonna hit or, PB here. only hits PB, but does manage to pick up Noam. They're going to turn off the Baron. Wait, that, Garen yeah, just gets, you, gets the base for free now. That's crazy. <laughs> They are just going to yeah, off I mean, the base, Stanley, though. Stanley picking up, I think it was Avery there. Uh, no, that picking up Gnome there is enough to, to turn them away from the Baron. They don't want to risk getting too low and then dying to another re-engage by, uh, by the Orianna. Really good stuff by, by, by Stanley able to just completely deny the Baron on his own. Uh... Dramana gonna gonna take a reset, try and knock down this mid tower. I don't think they're gonna be able to get it. A really good ult by by Evan. Grabbing oh my gosh, he just obliterates <laughs> Onan's health bar. <laughs> uh, that's a lot of damage. I don't think PB even comboed there because he tried to combo the guy who just insta died. Yeah, um, super well played though. Does manage to get a really yeah. good ulti down, and this could be another Baron pick for them. And we see, I think Rift Strike just had the better read on the meta. Uh, Picking up this various first pick has given them so much draft resources as a flex and really just yeah. a lot of value here. Yeah, just when you think that Varus is going to not do a lot of damage, suddenly he does that bullshit. <laughs> yeah, that's a little illegal. Uh, Avery does have a potential flank here. They're starting up the Baron here. Stanley does have potential to get the the ball in and try to get a really good wombo combo. PB is going to try to space him out here, though. The ball has been dropped. Looks like they're going to ramp it up. Uh, looks like it should be a committal finish from the side of Rift Sharks, and they do manage to get they are it. They coming down onto... Uh, Dean? I think that's... Yeah, that's onto Dean. Yeah, that's um, Dean. The fight still could potentially break out here, but it looks like Rift Sharks is going to opt to walk away. Uh, <laughs> Recall is coming out here, and looks like Rift Sharks does manage to get away with five Barons in tow. Yeah, I mean... At the, in the same moment, Elder's up in 30 seconds. Andromeda has complete reign over the vision in this side of the map. I don't think they mind, oh. though, as Rift Sharks. Like, you don't mind face-checking as Alistar or Mumu. You want to, like, yeah. find people and hit these engages. So, as long as yeah, they're the ones face-checking. Oh, the Rizal coming in. Oh, they're doing the combo from sign-ups! Oh, the ulti oh, coming out! Oh, the three-man ulti onto the Ash as well. Uh, the fight's looking pretty good, but Ash does manage to pick up the... Uh, Couple of in I mean, response, that's a, that's but a two for two so far. Yeah, two for two so far. Uh, the has, jungler is still alive. Advantage here, and it's gonna be. It's so hard for Andromeda to walk up in these fights, right? You really want Rift Sharks to be engaging onto you, and you can poke them while they're trying to come close to you. Um, yeah, this is. Uh, but at the same time, Rift Sharks doesn't have a lot of vision on the side of the map where Andromeda is because Andromeda got to the Drake pit first. And yeah, I think both teams are gonna gonna opt to back off here or not. Andromeda is gonna start the start the Drake up with yeah, and with a lot of damage from the Viego, as Bean is gonna try and keep Dean and Evan off of it. Yeah, but they Bean don't really have a classic so front damage to to the Garen here. Yeah, it looks like uh, and <laughs> yeah, and Andromeda's gonna have to peel off of this. Now, yeah. Rift Sharks has <laughs> control of the of the Drake pit. Avery's gonna try and chase Bean down, but he's just gonna start regening with his. Giga Garen passive. Yeah, it looks um, like Andromeda is flooding back onto the map here. Um, the tricky part about Rift Shark's draft is they have... Uh, if Noam and PB are dead, they have no way to... Oh my gosh, good combo from Lithy. They drop super low. The ulti comes out and Evan manages to go down here. Down. And Afari does manage to start resetting down. here. 
And it looks like yeah, it's going to be a clean a reset wash for from Andromeda. That Andromeda is... here. I mean, yeah, like, the Andromeda keeps finding their one angle into fights, right? Yeah. With, uh, with Honan landing an R into, uh, into a combo or the other way around. And then just Apari taking the first reset and just running wild with it. Um, and honestly, this is at the very least an inhib. I wouldn't be surprised if on respawn, Rift Sharks just were forced to fight and lost because they don't have Baron anymore. Andromeda now has the um, the Elder Drake buff. This this could this be a potential game, game end game. here. We'll have to see if they're able to close it out here. Bean tanking the towers so that the minions don't die. I mean, yeah, they take these towers so fast, but but uh, Evan is up, so is up at the same time. Looks like they might not be able to end here. Stanley is looking for it with the oh ball God, to try to so zone them out. From Stanley. But the yeah, Varus with the Q from push. range is able to just make sure that they don't lose the game right here on the spot. Lithium with some really clutch bindings, uh, following up with arrows is really clean. And it looks like I think they're just going to try to uh, make sure that they don't lose before the Elder Dragon wears off. Definitely going to have to go to the Baron fight. Uh, once again. At this point, both teams are sort of just chilling. Like they, uh, Everyone has their items. Evan has opted for the Edge of Night so that maybe he doesn't get caught by the combo and yep. die immediately. I do like this kind of setup from him. Yeah. That's, a, that's a really good read on the game state. Yeah, being with the Infinity Edge as well, that boy is a bit strong, to be honest. Yeah, the it's honestly it's so hard to play here if you're Rift Sharks. You like you can't push up at all. If yeah. like even if you're, unless your name is PB, if you get hit with basically anything on the side of of Andromeda, you're just dead. Yeah, um, you get hit by a, a Lux ooh arrow coming out from the arrow. the. Bears does have to burn the cleanse. Does oh, manage to burns everything. She doesn't have ult up for a little bit. And when I mean, no, may I have an angle up, here. I really mean a little bit. Uh, no, I'm looking for an angle over the wall. Not quite gonna find it. As Dean starts to run top to try and match this Garen, uh, he does try and get an ult up, but that's just gonna that's just gonna leave his team alone in in a four v three here. Uh, Garen like... did burn flash apparently, so a good ulti from Evan to try and maybe pick up the Varus or not the Varus, the Ash, but doesn't manage to hit anything. Dean might be walking a little greedy here, takes all of his oh, HP so in one damage. combo and does have the blast really point here, or the, the juicy fruit here the too. Yeah. I need a scrim zone gifts of, I agree to be honest. Um Honan has his QSS. Uh that's that's a really good value into the uh into the Amu plus Varus. I mean that's how you die. Yeah, looks like the tower is finally going to go down here. Uh, we'll have to see how this game wraps up from here. Game still needs uh, to end. Dean is, Dean is bot side. He does have TP up, but he doesn't have the R. Um, yeah. Andromeda's going to drop this top lane tower as mid lane is now shoved even. Somebody's going to have to go pick that up if you want to keep the pressure up uh, if you're Andromeda. But Baron is coming up in 14 seconds. We're probably just going to see them turn on that immediately, try and burn it down. Dean back, so he's going to be here in time for the fight. Uh, and I think we're just going to see a big 5v5 here. Andromeda does have first move. Um, so. Yeah, they definitely have a lot of prio on this Baron. Uh, Evan, or not Evan, Gnome and PB really need to find a good ulti angle from here. Yeah. So, Apari taking down to about half health from, from some Varus poke, but he's going to go back to the red buff, lifesteal back up. Come back to the fight at full health. Um, as both teams are kind of moving off of the the Baron, Andromeda again still has a really good uh, map positioning here. They're they're trying to prevent Rift Sharks from even coming near this Baron and starting to um, deny any vision. If you're, I mean, I know you said earlier that you don't mind face checking as an Amumu Alistar, but Andromeda has so much damage that, like I said, unless there's TV, if you're no one, even no one can't face tank it. Face -check yeah. At this point. And it looks like the Baron is going to go over here. The ulti coming out. Oh my gosh, the Shockwave uh, sends them both. The ulti Gnome coming out. Dean, but Or Gnome and Dean. That that might just be game. Apart. He's going to flash forward to try and find something, but he's not going to be able to, to get far enough onto Evan. 
He does have really good chase potential here. Presses the R button, presses his double, presses his E button. He's going to try and get something here, but... Um, Looks like this could be a game ad from the side of Andromeda here. Minion wave mid, but they do have a gigantic super minion wave bot lane with the Baron buff. It's going to be so hard for Rift Sharks to defend this uh, once Andromeda decides to walk into the base. They're going to try and be thorough with this, drop the mid tower and inhib. Um, but that's going to give Gnome time to potentially respawn for the next fight. Uh, at the same time, that also gives them time to, to get Honan in here. Although Honan's big contributions in these fights are not necessarily him doing damage with auto attacks, it's just him pressing R. So you yeah, do that R and it looks like it is going to be yeah. the game end. In the game here. I'm going to say, I think this is the Garen MVP. This champion just sort of <laughs> was yeah, unkillable no, I, the entire game. That was, that, it felt so impossible for everyone except Dean to side lane, but if Dean's not in the fight, then you just lose. Yeah, um... They tried to do the Rise of Mubu combo that me and Taxi whipped out in signups. Didn't quite work out for them the same way that it did for me and Taxi, but I do appreciate the effort from them. Uh, it was a serious, super close game. Uh, I think Apari just had a better... Honestly, I don't think Apari really did anything this game, though. I'm not going to lie. I think Honan and Liffy and Ta Stanley were really pumping out the DPS and really just like... Uh, securing a lot of picks for the side of Andromeda here, so super well played series to them in particular. Yeah. I'm really excited to see what the next draft is going to be. Some adaptations for Rift Sharks. I think they're still doing this draft very well. I do think Evan looked a little less comfortable on the Varus than Dean, but mm -hmm. I still think he played uh, it super well. So Even before draft starts, we already see an, a slight adaptation by, by Rift Sharks. They're going to opt to take red side this game. Uh, what do you think they're going to do differently? Obviously, they can't first pick the Varus here, but so that might go over to Honan. I don't think they give it. I think that might ban it. I'm not sure, though. Uh, we'll have to see what the draft play is going to be here. Yeah. They might they might decide to drop the Apari ban because, I mean, the, the second Apari ban, you ban the Kane, you ban the Thresh, um, and then maybe potentially ban the Varus there. Uh, I, yeah. I don't think that... Um, I don't think that Rift Sharks can really focus Apari out on the bands there. The Viego felt fine. The set felt fine. Like, he... It's going to be rough. It's going to be hard. Yeah, definitely a little rough. Curious to see what the adaptation is going to be coming into this draft. What... What do we so so assuming the Varus is banned on the side of Rift Sharks? What What's the first, the first pick? pick? Oh, God, I have no idea, man. I think it could be anything. Uh, it could be the Jin first pick, honestly. Yeah, wouldn't be surprised by that. Uh, I don't know. There's like a couple decent picks. Uh, I I honestly couldn't tell you. Uh, I think the entire draft is like so different. I really only knew what Rift Sharks was gonna do because I talked to Dean about it, and they were planning on flexing the Varus the entire time. So at this point, like, I think you just try to get Avery counterpick so that the Garen thing doesn't happen to him. I mean, they had yeah. they saw the Garen and then just opted to slam the the, the Rift I... into it anyways. I think that was a little bit of an ego move. I'd prefer them not to like just pick a hard losing matchup like that. But we'll have to see how yeah. it goes for game three. I think. For, on my money, I think the first pick is either going to be a Lithy champion, or yeah, it could be a Lux Flex. To be, yeah, it could be a Lux Flex. It could also be uh, a Jin, like we said earlier. We should be getting into draft in. here. So, uh, Looks like Rift Sharks. Oh, champion. is this flipped? This is flipped. Yeah, this is flipped. Fuck. Hold on. Let me regenerate uh, assets. Rift I Sharks, hate it here. Rift Sharks banning away the Avery. Yep. So we do see the, the Varus ban from Rift Sharks. Uh, the first pick for Andromeda. I suspect. Is is gonna be, like I said, either the Jin or the Lux, um, but we'll see what what uh, their their draft looks like in a second. Um, bands, I mean, staying mostly the same on the side of Androm on the side of Rift Sharks, but oh, the, that's the first pick, Garen for Avery. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for for Bean, they are very confident that. He's just going to roll whatever Avery wants to pick here. As we do see the immediate response from Rift Sharks. Uh, it's just going to be the horn. horn. Okay. 
Hold on. Let me uh, let me update the thing. Fuger, can you consult the Bible and let me know how this matchup goes? Uh, I would appreciate <laughs> that. Consult the Bible is so funny. He said, nah, don't pick Orn here. Um, and then, yeah, so we're just going to see the Leona pick up, trying to deny that from... Uh, all right, we got the quick swap TV. over. He, he had so much value on that game one, and I think it's a large part of why they won that first game. Oh, wait, yeah, no. I think Garen, at least there's there's some interactions that Garen just absolutely deletes Orn in because Orn can't press R into Garen. And it looks like it's just going to be a party on the, the site here just to like take yeah. the tanks and slam them back into the team. Two, like... two big, beefy... Champions into set pick on the enemy team. Yeah, that works. Um, I honestly don't know what this third pick is going to be. This draft has not been going how I expected it to go. Yeah, Avery all. with another self counter. I didn't point that out, okay, but it's also going to be the Milio here. Milio, I, I don't know what Evan plays that works really well with Emilio. I think he plays some Kogma. Maybe the Senna works with Emilio. Lucian could be really good here, but I don't think that's an Evan champion. But we'll see what uh, what Andromeda thinks it is based. I mean, what Rift Shark thinks it is based on the. Uh, oh no, it's it's Lithion. Yeah, it's okay, Lithion. I, I swapped it. Already. I swapped okay, it. Okay, okay, I swapped okay. it now. So that's gonna be Lithion the Melio. It's gonna be Brand. Uh, is this Noam really Brand cool. jungle? Noam. No, I think that is a Noam Brand jungle. Okay, so, this uh, champion has been slaughtered, by the way. The jungle, like this shit's not good anymore. But. <laughs> First you rag on his build game one, then you rag on his build. Oh, game I'm about to fucking two. slaughter him for picking this champion. This champion's gotten the allegations. Mason. This champ has gotten slaughtered in the jungle. Like, look at the passive. Look at the changes they just dropped in the fashion notes, bro. There's no way this is brand jungle. Yeah, uh, Honan. I mean, it might be a Jin to go with the Melio pick. I doubt that's Hone and Melio. I don't know why the Caitlyn's getting banned out here on the side of Rip Sharks. I think it's just to keep Lithy off of it. It looks like yeah. it's going to be an Ash. I guess they think it might be Hone and AD Carry still. I uh, mean, the, the I mean that's a ban for Lithy AD Carry and a ban for Hone and ADC. I think they just really don't know. It's going to be another Fizz ban. <laughs> I'm glad that we read patch notes for the first th two drafts and then forgot that Brand got nerfed, I guess. Unlucky, bro. Also, I gave him MVP game one. There's no way I can still be a Noam hater. Like... And it looks You're like it's going to be an Azir pick blind for Mr. Jones here. You know what? Honestly, Evan, if you can hear me, take the Brand AD carry and have Noam play Kindred, bro. Fuck it. Slam Evan the Ego. Does play... I think Evan does play some brand um i think i played into it in signups once and it was pretty good well that may have been somebody else on brand i don't quite remember honan yep that's gonna oh be my the, gosh uh, the it's Kog gonna be the cogma i think honan generally prefers the ap cogma but i don't see a world in which you play ap cogma into a leona orn yeah there's a lot of magic damage from the side of rift sharks as well you need like yeah. a hard 80 carry yeah, and then that's going to be uh, a Sandra for Stanley. He's really good at those good Okay, I I'm begging you, Evan. If you, you can hear me, take the brand. Let no one play Kindred. Just ego it. Just ego it, please. For me. For me. For me. This is I purely mean, for me. Does, brand does do really well in the Kog'Maw. Oh, it's going to be the Callista. Okay. Oh, Callista Leona is a really strong lane. Um, and I don't... I think I think Callista wins the, the Kog'Maw matchup. But... Support matchups are what really matters. As long as Andromeda doesn't lose this lane before level six, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be pretty easy for them moving from there right. once Mario gets his ult. Okay, I think this is gonna be the first time I say Andromeda is favored in draft. I think I agree. Bean has counter picked top side, uh, mid lane. I think doesn't matter. It's Syndra versus Azir. We could like fall asleep watching this matchup. Sure, Callista beats him in lane, but like. Brand jungle is not good anymore, I think. And then, like, you have set, which is, like, another frontliner for your jugger, Kog'Maw. And it's just, like, you fling away the tanks into the uh, into the Callista, and she can't play the fucking game. So, yeah. it's going to be a really I mean, hard comp from the side of... Uh, yeah, Millie's going to be giving the Kog'Maw so much range to be playing out of the engage range of the Leona. Orton could still try and get an R off, but, I mean, even if the Leona does get onto Honan, 
you still have the set R for peel. You still have the Melio R for peel. It's going to be really hard for a Rift Shark to try and get yeah. onto this Kog'Maw. Uh, for context on the brand nerfs, um, I will go ahead and read them out for the class real quick. Um, let me find them real quick. <laughs> Andrew, I, if Kal Fuja says if Kalista gets two autos in a mid game team fight, he'd be surprised. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Um, let me find them. Uh, your burn burn now has a pass uh, cap on damage per second against monsters of thirty, and the explosion now has a cap against monsters uh, of two hundred, three uh, hundred fifty, four hundred, and four seventy five at levels one six, eleven, and sixteen. This does actually matter for brand clear. Uh, these changes kind of slaughter his clear, I'm pretty sure, and I think his win rate has dropped like astronomically in the jungle. So, uh, what row? I I'm just I'm a doubter, bro. Sorry, no. Uh, think, the Mason the Mason hater train is back. Uh, this champ's not good. I'm sorry, bro. This champ's just not good anymore, <laughs> man. I think the, like I think the only good matchup. I don't think there's any winning matchups here for Rift Sharks. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Uh, obviously, like you said a, uh, a minute ago, their bot lane does win early, but it's going to be so hard for them to actually press that lead and do anything with it. Um, it's going to be hard for Kalista to press that lead. Leona can press whatever the... F like, Leona doesn't need a lead to press the lead. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> but... Yeah, I mean, also, Andromeda has the meta advantage here. I think Kalista isn't that good right now mm -hmm. kogma is certainly a better champion plus you have like like you like you said brand jungle got got deleted nerfed. <laughs> got nerfed a lot um so yeah i think i think andromeda's draft is is just better here we'll have to see how it rolls out into the game oh i'm gonna get some water i'll be back <laughs> Alrighty, now that Mason's gone, I can start insulting him. Uh... Yeah. I don't, I don't know what to say. Mason's a, a perfect little gremlin. Uh... Yeah, I mean, getting into game, uh, looking at champions to watch, we don't care about this. Draft has already happened. Key matchups. I don't care. That's like Stanley versus Dean is a boring ass lane this game. It's Cinder versus Azir. Who gives a shit? Um, let's keep looking at these these scuffed assets. Key player Apari. That I can kind of get behind. I think Apari on the on the set jungle. It's kind of he's the only person I've ever met who plays a set jungle and he makes it look good. So that's uh, it's pretty exciting that we got to see it in two games. This season, this series, I mean, PB on his most played champion, Leona. He's just gonna. I think the key to Rift Sharks trying to win this game is PB running around the map and trying to get the uh, the rest of the team ahead. But then you leave the Callista alone in a side lane, which kind of sucks ass. Both because Callista's losing value on the passive, and like, why would you want to leave the Callista alone into a Kogma Melio lane, like you trying to, you kind of just want to try and smash them. Um, even once once that Melio gets level six, it's going to be really hard for Andromeda to try and find anything. Um, I mean, for for Rift Shark to try and find anything in the bot lane, um, especially with the set being able to just pull the Leona off of the the Kogma, so. A lot of the times with Melio, what will happen is you press the R button and then they'll just CC your AD carry. You, they'll just CC your AD carry again. But if Set's there to pull the Leona off, not let her CC anybody, then it becomes a much easier game to play. It's going to be so, like I said earlier, it's going to be so, so hard for Rift Sharks to touch this Kogma once you get to mid game. And I would be surprised if Honan doesn't just take over this game if we get past 25 minutes all right i'm back chat what did i miss i insulted you god i hope so um i don't want to be a doomer but it feels like rift sharks is kind of doomed with this draft yeah not a fan not a fan not a fan big not a fan Ugh. 
I mean, Azir might be able to get some value. Orn maybe trying to hit the Kogma with a quick, a quick little uh, knock up. But Brand's never going to be able to get close enough to the Kogma to realistically do damage. I mean, I think he's just going to try to throw his ulti onto the front line. Yeah. My question is: Is he going to be able to get past three or two items to really start accelerating the game? Like the secret behind Brand Jungle is your early clear is dog shit. Like and like kind of hard to play. So like, I'm curious if he's able to like sort of mitigate that and able to get out of this lane phase without getting super punished. But we'll have to see. The games have been going kind of long, see, so... We do see a 10-skin game this game. Yeah. That's very exciting. The Honin, yeah, he picked up... He has PTA, so he's not going to go the AP build. Um, thank the Lord. You mean he is going to go the AD build? He's he's not going to go the AP build, so... Uh, um, and... Uh, yeah, I mean, Those we're gonna have to see Rift Sharks or... really get a big early game lead if they're gonna try and if they're gonna win this game. Yep, um, agreed. Fortunately, they're not at risk of getting invaded, so Callista getting chained in the base for a little bit longer doesn't matter. Yeah, I think Stanley. What's the root? I think Stanley's uh, Syndra has had like pretty good historical numbers i didn't do like the champion setups but i'm curious to see what his all time is on it but this is a champion he's pretty comfortable on i'm excited to see him play it again so mm -hmm. uh rift sharks smartly being wary of that tribush all until now uh if if quick tip if you're ever playing into a Callista, you can just sit in the uh, in the spot where the Callista is supposed to five point because you get there before them uh, and and you can try and get a, a free cheeky kill there. Also, Noam did opt for the electric you over the Dark Harvest. Um, Dark Harvest is like a PP bad rune IMO, but like it scales a lot better than electric you. So I, I think electric you's pretty smart here. You're you're not trying to go for the long game this game. Right, you don't have time for that rune to scale up, so yeah. Electric is gonna give you that little bit of early power. Maybe you can try and hold on. Some banger all chat coming out here. I need to address oh. this. You defend against the Afari Ward because it's too powerful. No, I'm hitting back with that. I don't know who you are. My fucking goat, man. Never mind. No, I'm defender all the way. You pick the brand juggle. You make it work. It's dog shit now, but you do that, King. Pop off, bro. I respect what is the, that. What is the Afari Ward? I have no is idea. I don't know what bros yapping about, but ward on on the chickens. Literally every jungler does that word. I don't know why you're taking that yeah. as like something you only you know, but like sure. Do you do you, bro? <laughs> no, I'm so back. That's what I'm saying, bro. Sit the fuck up, bro. Walk the fuck in, dog. It's your game, bro. I'm with it, bro. Fuck I fuck with it. I fuck with it. The, I don't know who you are. Amazing clap back. That's my goat, baby. But yeah, we're seeing that this matchup is still unplayable for Avery once again. Um, self counter pick coming out as usual, but um. But I mean, what do you pick into the Garen other than range tops? I don't know. What we'll beats Garen? Nothing. He's locked in. That's what I'm saying. My goat is back, bro. We'll see. We'll see if he can uh, if he can turn this game around for for Rift Sharks. Yeah. I don't see a level one kill bot. It's Jover. <laughs> it's Jover. <laughs> True. Um, Looks like Stanley, Stanley is getting, getting some the combo down. Onto, onto Dean, and they're just gonna. I mean, Andromeda is just gonna play super far back in the bot lane. Not gonna give uh, Rift Sharks the spot lane a chance to do anything really. Both John Lewis are just might be walking up a little there. far here. He gets uh, he gets stunned by the Leona with the Zenith Blade, but Evan is in no position to follow up there, and so they're actually just gonna win. That trade, uh, getting some some return damage on the Leona on her way out. Or you can win pre six and then it's hard. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Um, also, I do want to point out, uh, you can see the brand jungle nerfs finishing his clear at 340. Uh, it's a lot slower than it used to be. Uh, but Noam did manage to finish it up. The flash E coming okay, out from PB. Yeah, coming out from PB. Good flash uh, from Lithy, though. He's just going to flash out there and, yeah, I think that's going to be it. 
No, I'm trying to get a re-engage. Gonna, not gonna land the stun. Um, and a party is gonna get the, the top side scuttle here. Yeah. I'm also, just gonna, I'm just gonna trade those sides of the map. Yeah, Liffy with the correct Milia skin. This is the best Milia skin in the game. The rain catcher one, I think. One of my favorite skins. Ghost coming out from a party here. Might be able to catch out. <laughs> Avery though, good E from him just to dodge out the gank and does manage to survive burning his ghost. So Yeah. Good good out there by Avery. Only needs to burn does unfortunately need to burn his flash, but Apari did ghost. Um so that's gonna be a lot of alleviate that's gonna be a lot of gank pressure alleviation for the other sides of the map. Yeah. Uh, really Brand does have the faded ashes, so his clear is now ten billion times faster than the sets. Sorry, set, you lost. Jungle matchup's over, bro. Uh, your clear is now just 8 billion times slower. Riot is obsessed with keeping this item good when it broke like 3 different junglers and also like enabled a very toxic category of junglers to come up. I don't know why they're obsessed with keeping this item the way it is. It's just so broken and it's like just not good for the game. Garen is also down 10 CS. I think Avery just has the item advantage here and is utilizing right. it pretty well. So... As it looks like Noam is just gonna clear. like look at the difference in clear speed by the way from the brand to the set like this is so stupid man <laughs> I'm still ragging on faded ashes watch me bro I am a faded ashes abuser and this shit's fucking dumb to me like why the fuck is brand doing an entire clear before his set finishes with his fucking raptors like that's stupid anyways I mean if you set everything on fire you kill it faster than if you punch it. True. So I think you know what? Fun. You're right, bro. My bad, dog. Yeah, true. If Fujir, if Orn lands the Orn combo here, then uh, then Garen might be dead. Garen uh, could die. Dom is looking for a play bot lane here, though. Uh, might just offer the dragon instead. Uh, Brand does still have pretty good objective timers because of uh, the passive does do a lot of damage. They did cap it, but I'm curious to see if he's able to get. The damage out here still does also have a Callista to rotate up for him for Pryo, so they are utilizing the sort of Callista advantage that they have, so. Okay, I mean, Stanley's getting good trades on to Dean here. He does have an 8 CS lead here, um, but I mean, that's, that's, it's, it's a CS lead. Um, it is just about offsetting the, uh, the CS lead that Avery has in the top lane. And then yeah. bot lane is, is pretty even. Although Noam somehow is, is behind in CS on this. Uh, set finished the, the clear lane. and grubs count more as more CS than dragons. Ah, so, I see. Fun facts with your third favorite jungler in scrim zone, LOL, I guess. My, uh, you're my, you're my second favorite jungler. Thank you. Appreciate third. that. Third? You, you're right. you know what? You're we take right. those. Joey and Noam are my goats. Yeah. Um, yeah, pretty pretty slow game so far. I mean, it is it is one one here, so both teams want to uh, want to not into way the game, but yeah. Um, I mean, if you're if you're rift sharks, you really have to to try and make some plays here. Yeah, you have to worry about this the jugger mock coming online. Lose. Yeah, Mason, you're my first. Thank you, Taxi. I appreciate that. Looks like Evan okay. is going to go for an engage as we, here. As we say that, Evan's going to try and look for an engage here. The cleanse coming out. The exhaust onto Evan, but Owen's going to really get out, and that's that's a lot of that's a lot burn. That's the flash burn from from Evan there. Aggressively, he doesn't manage to pick up the kill. Uh, Noam is here on the on the gank though. Potential kill for him. The W yeah, coming this out. Should just be a dead Garen. The ulti Orn comes out, and Orn. the flash. Okay. <laughs> Noah misses every ability, but still Orn gets the kill anyways. <laughs> this Fran Champion is kind of dumb in the damage department still, so. Pari's looking for something bot side, but I don't know if it's going to happen. He does have Ghost up, but he's going to opt to just channel it back in the bush. Then realizes he has his entire topside jungle up. So he's well, is he canceling both their bases, though? Chickens into, into topside. Hi, Thomas. Hi, Tusini. How are you doing? Uh, it's good that we actually have some chat engagement this series. Yeah, uh, yeah. we do appreciate the the chat engagement. Mm -hmm. uh, it gives us a bit of things to talk about during the downtime, but as well as uh, I, we really appreciate Psycho Care getting into an argument in the middle of the series as well. Yeah, yeah, of course. It wouldn't be Scrims on LOL without a Psycho Care argument in the middle of a game. So, 
Don't call me go anymore. I'm crashing out this season. I agree. Me too, bro. It's fun crashing out sometimes, though. Sometimes we throw in games for content. Looks like Dean Every is Every time just... it ends mid, it's literally just Stanley landing an E. Yeah, it, like, <laughs> why does it keep fanning mid, bro? Nothing happens in this fucking lane. I think the Bible says go first. Dirk in first, then Axiom Mark on Orn. I agree. Orn. Yeah. Your Q does have a 100% AD ratio or whatever. Yeah, true. Uh, you know, back when Duskblade was around, uh, there there used to be a saying. It went, uh, the unseen Orn is the deadliest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I agree Orn with that. Was quite strong. It looks like the game state is sort of favoring Rift Strikes here. Uh, <laughs> not much really happening, but... <laughs> I'm going to look up that stat. <laughs> Wait, does it really say Archangels is the best starting item on Orn and Iron Plus? Not, don't worry, don't worry. I'm looking <laughs> Can we get a fact check on that? <laughs> I'm, I'm fact checking, don't worry. Uh, I, we don't Iron appreciate it. If, uh, by the way, if you're wrong, I will time you out. If you're lying to me, I will time you out. Versus Garen. I don't I don't see it on U.G. Fuji. Alright, Fuji, you're here? getting the 10 minute okay, timeout. He, he lied. On. Wait, 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 hold on. Wait, wait, it, wait, no, it shows up for me, though. Hold on. What website are we looking at? What website are we on, chat? Tassini, if you're lying to me, too, I will time you out. Really busy right now. <laughs> <laughs> Q just popped. Garen dot <laughs> Cheech. Okay, never mind. You've been saved. Gnome with a really good dive, though. It does manage to die. To Lithy, though, that's really good. And Evan also picking up another kill. A really good dive from Rift Sharks here. Uh, to accelerate their game state. Uh, they oh, are yeah, going to have to trade cold. six grubs, though, but... Yeah, I mean, six grubs on the Garen is really scary, but at least you are you are ahead in Drake's, so you're going to delay the, the Andromeda soul win condition by a little bit. Yeah, Dean is rotating up for Mr. Rungus Cheng Yuan. So, like, the ulti coming out just to make sure that the Garen can't really escape here, and it looks like this should just be a free kill. Noam is here as well. And it looks like should just be a kill over. Dean managing to pick that one up as well. Rushing towards the Nashers. I think Noam should just go for Dragon here, no? Why are we wasting time searching Grubs, man? Oh, looks like he's taking it in. The E coming out. The W. Oh my gosh, the smite. Oh he's God, him. He he's God. him. The W coming my out. God. Good flash. Does manage to dodge. He flashes the Haymaker. He might get this kill, but not. No. The Q doesn't quite land. He's Does manage to contest the six out. Grubs. He should just rotate but, straight down for yeah. Dragon. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, a party is is forced to back here, so just be lining it for grubs here. He might also look for an angle here on to, onto Stanley. Oh, good is combo does to, manage to come out. Is able to uh, land the stun, but oh, but Botlin's also getting a up. really favorable trade here. Yeah, I unless PB lands another Zenith blade, I don't think it's a kill. But oh, but uh, Lithy is getting fucking exploded from, from the ulti coming out from Orn. Avery. Does manage to pick oh up Lithy all here, of, and it's going to be another kill for her. So low right now. This is. That's just going to be a free Drake for Rift Sharks. And it looks like I might have just been a liar when I said Brand is bad now, but they did nerf okay, him. Okay, so. and, and Dean's just able to pick up Apari. Apari was going for a greedy chickens there. And, uh... Yeah, I mean... Guys, I think the nerfs didn't go through on Noah's client. That's what I'm saying, bro. Uh... Yeah, I mean, we said the Rift Sharks needs to get an early lead and that they weren't really doing it, but here they we are. They have started to Three accelerate. Minutes later, <laughs> yeah, we're eating our words. Game. Yeah. Yes. Every time we say something about Rift Sharks or the game state, like two minutes later, it's exactly the opposite. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Uh, Rift Sharks are just really using their spikes pretty well. Uh, Costa is like an early game champion and they're really utilizing the pr advantage that she can get on the bot side. To like try to get themselves accelerated into this game, uh, try to get their brand really ahead uh, to get out of this miserable early game that he tends to have. Yeah, and I, I, I mean, Avery has an item, and Stanley is just dead here again. Good it, rotate from PB just to set him up for that kill. So hard for me to do any damage to this Orn, but a party's here. Maybe they can get something done. But yeah, he has, and... he has the cursed item, and he's using it well. Yeah.
Orn is, I think top lane it's a bit different, but I would tend to just never value uh, Sunfire in the jungle. Oh my gosh, Apari is getting a fucking good obliterated. Good, good haymaker, but uh, looks like you're still dead, brother mans, and it looks like the the set pick is not working out this time. Honan might look for something here onto Evan, able to get some good uh, some good damage off. Doesn't quite have the Bork yet, so he doesn't get the Can slow. you set R over oh, walls? Yes, you can. And it looks like the Avery self counter pick does not matter in the slightest when you blind pick the Garen, so. Yeah, Gnome's gonna take this Rift Herald. And Yeah, I mean if you're if you're Andromeda, the one person you do care to to prevent getting ahead is that Azir, but that's I mean, Dean is has four kills and 120 CS. He is. Who said the right Who said Andromeda comp was better? I think their comp is better. I think they are getting massively outhands this game. Like uh, they're like they're just losing everyone. Like it's not even close. Are they getting outhands and kind of out rotated? Like Rift Sharks has always had the drop on them in the map on the map department. Like PB has had really good rotates. Like PB is just. Fucking fisting the spot lane with Leona and having the Callista to back him up in terms of damage is like has really been the advantage here. Uh, Avery just knowing the Orn way better than uh, Bean, I think, does uh, is he utilizing this lead that he has on Orn to try to snowball his jungler. So I just think Rishrax just has the knowledge and the hands advantage here. That's and they're really utilizing it well. So, agreed. Uh... Apari might be looking for something here, but I think, yeah, the it's been so hard for Apari to try and find angles on the under Rift Shark spot lane here. They they sniff him out every time, and and even if they don't, like it's really hard as as a set. Like you press Ghost and kind of run at them. The Leona just stuns you, and then Kalista presses R. It's it's really hard to gank that bot lane. Yeah, and uh, I think Pari is just kind of... Noam has kind of just had the map read on him. Like, he's just gotten better ganks off. I don't think the set jungle is quite the same pick that it was in the first game. Uh, yeah. It's kind of hard for, as a set to get on top of the brand and kind of punish his early clear, so... It's like the stride breaker is coming out, but like... Why are we still seeing top lane fights, by the way? What's happening here, man? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think Bean ever wins these anymore. Yeah, he's just sort of immortal. And it looks like Noam does drop the Rift Arrow to really trying to accelerate his bot lane here. How are you trying to look for something top here? He does get a good, uh, a good pull on the Avery. ulti coming out. Another, a good ult. Oh, good knockup from Avery here. Bean doesn't get the, uh, oh my gosh, gets oh one! Oh my goodness. Well played from Bean not getting the, uh, Avery the here. silence on the Ornar. Yeah, also, like, the Haymaker didn't hit him at all, so... Really good ulti. Yeah. And it looks like... I think Rough Sharks is just gonna try to set up for this Cloud Dragon. Looks like PB is just sort of trying to secure vision. mid tower might go down here. Uh, with the... Gold shut down on it as well, but looks like Honan is here as well. I have to see uh, what the play is going to be. This should just be a Baron or a Dragon play for it, so. <sighs> Fudra and Thomas leaking our uh, our draft strategies. Uh, Dean is engaging here. Right does now. manage to get a shuffle onto Lithia, and it's going to be another kill. Like, <laughs> this is what I mean by hands gap. Like, Rift Sharks is just finding the correct angles in all of these fights and making sure that uh, the squishy members on uh, Andromeda can't play the game. But Pari does manage to get an ulti in, but he ulted into his death because now he has nothing. Uh, Evan does manage to pick up PB here and Holy tosses him back into the well. enemy team, getting another knockup. Stanley picks up the Leona in response, but his, his entire team is going down as well. Uh, Bean flash <laughs> ults and just executes the or in, in the fight. Two for two overall, but... True, Fudra called it right before it happened. Garen can just press R. True. And it looks like it should just be a dragon start. Your jungler is still alive. Stanley is going to stay here, but like... 
Stanley getting a really big stun. So that's yeah, a lot, a lot of, of damage coming out. The Garen is still alive is and is regening here, so they do have to finish this dragon really quickly. Lithy is going to be here, though. The W coming out onto Stanley, and it does actually amp your ability damage as well. Now, walking back in, does get killed by the Garen, and it's going to be another really kill going, going over to the well. Garen here. I think it's really hard to kill that Kalista yeah. and the Garen player. Yeah, but it looks but like the dragon gonna is going to go over around. here. And it's super unlucky. Good play from Stanley to just yeah. like stall out the dragon here. And another kill going over to the Garen. Uh, making it a three, uh, a three for two? Uh, yes, that is what that makes it. So, unfortunate for Rift Sharks. Uh, that play is now a little sour. So, yeah, and, and that Garen is. Getting some get items. Out. I mean, yeah. he has the Black Cleaver. It might be playable into the Orn now, but... Yeah, we'll have to see if he's able to accelerate, uh, continue accelerating from this point. Uh, I think Restrax was doing really well because the Orn was able to match the Garen, but now I don't think the Garen can be matched in the side lane by this Orn. Like, no MR items means he also can't uh, defend versus the other champion, the Syndra, as well. So it's going to be a little tricky here. And Honan is starting to scale, has the Bork... Uh, building towards potentially the terminus. Do you know what build this uh, champion uh, builds next? It he has a reaper bow blade. and a bow. Uh, rage blade. Rage blade. Ah, that makes sense. Um, although rage blade doesn't build out of a recurve and another dagger. Yeah. Um, it might be terminus here. I, I think that would be pretty troll. Usually you go um, bork into rage blade into terminus into a tank. Yeah. Or Wits End into Tank. I think it's Wits End into Kanek here, no? You just only it, care it about could MR. Also, yeah, it could also just be a Wits End angle here. Yeah, definitely uh, a lot of options for the Kog'Maw here. We'll have to see if for Sharks yeah, can Kog'Maw, continue to... Kog'Maw loves being able to build a lot of MR. I mean, you saw me in, uh, in yeah, the yeah. R series versus Andromeda. Don't I worry, bro. I gave you a nice helping of glazing for that one. <laughs> Ulti coming out for Avery here. Looking for the two squishy members potentially but looks like they aren't able to get anything in response uh just or will burn for nothing here and it looks like avery is going to try to walk back down apari is here with the ghost are going to maybe pick up the the set here apari is holding the ult does burn the ulti oh into God. the avery, avery. <laughs> unstoppable oh, but goodness. avery is still going to die here the leona ult coming down they do manage to pick up honan though because dean just does so much damage and the kogma is down which means uh andromeda kind of lacking in the dps department so yeah, I guess that is the fatal flaw of, of Andromeda's comp, although they have a lot of ways to stop people from getting on to the Kog'Maw. If the Kog'Maw does die, your your team kind of falls apart at the seams. Just a little bit. I think if Garen can get like a really good angle, it's like a little salvageable, but... True, Kog'Maw got to do true damage because of... Yeah, uh, utilizing Kog'Maw passive. Another engage from yeah. PB here, looking for the fight. Uh, Bean is sort of sitting on the sides with the Garen spin still going, and there might be a Dragon start angle from the side of Rift Sharks here. You do have a really fast uh, Baron take with the Callista Spears and the Brand passive, but I'll have to see if they opt for it. It doesn't look like it. It's a little too aggressive here. Or they yeah. think it's a little too aggressive here. I mean, it's... <laughs> Why are all of these games so close? This one is, I think, the least close so far, but it really feels like in it's it's close in the sense of if Rift Sharks doesn't end soon, it's going to be really hard for them to win. Who knew Dean was a cracked his ear? Uh, don't ask Rex. Uh, or don't tell Rex that, to be honest. But uh, yeah, he is pretty good on the Azir champion. He has played it a decent amount. So curious to see how this game is going to wrap up, though. Uh, for the for context on that bit, uh, Rex said uh, Dean doesn't know how Azir works because uh, we were arguing about how Azir Shuffle worked for like an hour or something. It was really funny. Good conversation, TM. Who's but, right? Uh, I think it was not Rex, so. <laughs> but it is going to look like Baron is probably going to be the next objective that they really want to focus on from the side of Rift Sharks here. Uh, Dragon mm -hmm. is spawning though, so they might just flip over to that. Uh, PB is looking for the engage with the ulti here. 
Uh, Apari is going to face check here, gets yeah, stunned up. Uh, the damage is coming out. Oh my gosh. Oh my and God. just gets fucking exploded by the brand damage with the Callista on top of it. Uh, Noam does yeah, have the Grievous game. Wounds. Gets an so. R here. PB just barely misses the R. Oh Mason my gosh, but Stanley well gets Stanley a kill. Callista on Super the back good explode. And the manages to get him in return. And it looks like... He's doing so much damage right yeah, now. Yeah, they really have lives, to respect the Azir here. kind of playable, but it's really hard to, to stop this Azir from doing damage right now. Yeah. He just continues to hit the Kog'Maw every time he tries to get in range. Yeah. Brand with the Grievous here uh, is a really good call from Noam. Uh, you apply the burn, so it continuously procs uh, on your DOT and just keeps the Grievous going for basically ever. So Honan is going to open up onto the Leona here, but mm -hmm. Dean is here to just make sure his support doesn't die randomly to some other shit. And it looks like it is going to be a clean what, two for or one for two. Or two for one? Whatever it was. Yeah, two for one for the side of Rift Sharks. Or one for two. I can't speak. Whatever. You know what I meant. I did. I did. <laughs> and they got the third yeah, dragon going to Soul Coat. Yeah. Uh, one dragon off of Cloud Soul here. Yeah, and, and I mean Andromeda really has to contest this next Drake. Hopefully they they can get skilled up by then. I, f I believe Kogma should be backing onto his wit's end here. Yeah. Um, it is so that's going to be a, a big spike here. for him. That deals so much damage. Oh, no, that is going to be a Terminus. I I thought Terminus was the one that builds out of two... <laughs> no, ter Terminus is the one that builds out of two Reekers. Okay. I guess it also builds out of out of that item. No, Hearthbound? I, I think he undid it. Hearthbound. Okay. I don't Pretty know sure how much I... It. it might be two recurves and a Hearthbound. I don't know. Um, I don't know how much I love the the terminus here. It feels as a second item. I, I Ooh, use wait, Bean like with a, a little potential bit pick here. Dean does manage to get the ulti off. Noam is here as well. The shield coming out from the yeah, shuffle, and it Garen. looks like it's going to be another dead Garen. Really good pick from the side of Rift Sharks. Straight into Baron potentially for for Rift Sharks. Uh, Honan is here. Does open up onto Evan here and is getting yeah, fucking chomped. Kill Evan here. Yeah, Honan Evan, getting a super good Evan pick. Guys, that means the Baron is no longer on the table. Have a flash up right now, but Noam's also might gonna. Noam also might die to this Kogma. No uh, dead. He's going um, in here. As, uh, as does have... gets a good ult. Honan manages to somehow live. He dives past the enemy team as yeah. the, as as he kills uh, as he kills Dean. And Avery the is going to pick up another here. Uh, just run past. Crazy Stanley, fight. I don't think he can do damage to this, but Honan absolutely popping off in that fight. Lithy with a good ult. And yeah, then, Evan walked a really greedy sort of... way there, no? Yeah, he, he really did, and I think Rifchars kind of just assumed that Honan, Honan was dead by the end of that fight, and so Avery and PB just dove way past him to try and continue the fight on to Stanley. And yeah, and Dean wasn't Honan able to finish off the Kog'Maw here. Hold the Azir champion. Yeah, and then kind of cost him that fight there. Uh, still ended up positive because the two tanks didn't die, but the Kog'Maw is starting to come online here, and you can kind of see it in those fights. Yeah. If they don't get onto the Kogma ASAP, it's just not playable. Like and Syndra just blowing up the Azir as well was super well played from Stanley. Yeah, I mean, we were talking about how uh, Andromeda doesn't really have any engage, and that that's very true. And I think it's kind of been biting them in the in the in the butt a little bit here. Um, yeah. So. But Honan it's, just it's walking at Evan stuff. here. <laughs> yeah. Evan having to burn Flash. And you see how Callista is just not able to play this game, right? Yeah, Callista being uh, one of the lowest range ADCs, playing into a Kog'Ma Milio, you're just... Like, Kog'Ma has double your range. It's it's disgusting. Yeah. Um, as Honan has managed to even the items back up into this Callista, PB... Once again, having a lot of kills, second most kills on in the game. Also, uh, as, yeah, I mean, Honan Lithy can just absolutely turbo ego this, just walk up as far as they want. Avery is Horn's going for an engage here. PB is here. Game. Another ulti coming out. Apari ghosting in. He was a good R to burn that, but yeah. That's oh, what but the kill does manage with, to come out. Uh, with the moment you press R on Milio, if the Leona is good, she just waits to press her other button. Oh, good engage from Milio the Fates call, out. and Stanley does have to burn the flash here. Uh, Dean is eating in. Uh, and a good CC on top of the set here. The facebreaker or the haymaker does come out, but uh, Noam does flash and does manage to pick up the Syndra here. So Dean in the back line, Min does to pick up Noam as a response, but it's just 
Lithy and, and Bean right now. I don't think they can do much. An easy one for three like here. Walk at this Baron. Yeah, they know that Evan can secure it with Smite, so I do kind of like it. Uh, we'll have to see if Evan or if uh, Bean is willing to like try to contest this face first. Does have the Milio to kind of back him up, so it's going to be a little hard. But Dean is still doing a shit ton of damage, so Bean might just yeah, die he's here. He's going to shred that Garen. Yeah, and it looks like Bean they are just going to secure the Baron. Kill, but this Baron is going to, yeah. And a super well played from the side of Rift Sharks. Yeah, good, good awareness, good, um, good map play there to to try and get a pick on the Garen right before Baron spawns. I mean, no, sorry, that was the last fight. What am I talking about? Looks um, like they are just gonna rush towards Soul. Uh, the brand R is already up, so. Yeah, if you're if you're Andromeda, you do have to contest this. It kind of sucks to to be sitting here into a Leona born, um, while they have Baron. Oh my gosh! But a good combo from Noam and the fucking. <laughs> Really greedy passing by Honan. There. Honan just gets fucking exploded. A W comes out, almost one shots this up, but good flash. Uh, flash there, but it's gonna be really hard to continue there. Like yeah, really and it looks like this should just be a wipe for the side of Rift Sharks. This should be GG here. Yeah, Soul is gonna be picked up here. Oh man, yeah, um, yeah. The two upgraded Leandries and an upgraded Bork on the side of Rift Sharks is really, really good Orn items. Oh, never mind, guys. Close to God, more <laughs> yeah, than four autos, Calista. and I'm sorry I doubted. I, I agree. Mean, I mean, that's the win con, right? If Kalista can get five auto attacks off in a team fight, you win. True. Also, the Orn items are coming in and doing a lot for their team. Double Leandries upgraded yeah. for. Their team, 115 AP and 485 health is a huge upgrade it's for both sides. Ridiculous stat line on an item. Yeah, and it what looks does like... What one do? It's like 61 attack, the AD, 41% oh, attack, attack speed. That just undoes the nerfs and yeah. a little bit more. Yeah, definitely super strong. Uh, looks like Rift Sharks should be able to snowball their way to an end here. 8k gold up. Should be pretty close. Yeah, and I mean, if you're if you're Rip Andromeda, what do you think you do here to try and get back in the game? Uh, pray Honan hits three items and stops egoing the fucking enemy team. Like, Honan is playing way too aggressive here on the Kog'Maw, but they also just haven't drafted themselves any tools to, like, really try to engage uh, here. Uh, ooh, oh. What? He builds the, uh, the Navori blades. third item. Is this good? It, it, it can be good, but not if you're already going, like, Bork Terminus. I feel like you need a, a, a really big on hit item. Like you need rage the rage blade. You need yeah. the. Uh, Bean is potentially caught blade. here. No, I'm is gonna get the combo down. Uh, does start spinning, but uh, brother, there's four people there, and it looks like they are just gonna start knocking down this bot tower as well. Yeah, this tower is going to fall. It's it's uh, Stanley has to make a miracle happen here if he's going to defend this tower. Uh, as as looks like a part just fucking a part exploded. Oh what my god! Happen? Super going to engage from Avery up, though. Uh, the haymaker. Yeah, and once again, this set pick is like not getting that much value. Yeah, I guess Gnome really doesn't know who he is, because, like, he hasn't existed in any of these fights. So, like, why would he have to know who that is, bro? They're they're trying to erase Apari from the end. And they've done a great or... job. He's died eight times. Like, that boy has been erased. Sorry, bro. He doesn't know who you are. Random checked. Dumbass. <laughs> why is that still building damage? I would agree. I think you should just build tank items at this point, no? Two Rectrixes? Does that passive? Does the move speed? I think the move speed stacks. It's this is Tunneler, speed. by the way. Oh, Tunneler? I'm ADC pilled. What can I say? I see an item that I don't recognize. It's Rectrix. That's just what he does in Lamau. <laughs> Crazy sentiment coming out from Twitch chat. 
<laughs> but uh, not exactly incorrect here, as looks like both teams are just gearing up for the fight here. The party is just getting fucking exploded. Yeah. Like, he can't do fucking anything in these fights, as uh, the uh, Azir just combos him down to death. It looks like the game should be over here, as Rift Strikes is just fishing for everything. It tosses them into the... <laughs> The, what is this champion? The Syndra, and it looks like Dean is just going to auto people to death, potentially ending the game yeah, here. Yeah, Dean just dies to tower here, though. Yeah. But, hmm, is this, is this still an end angle? I don't think so. I mean, it's just the two tanks that are up. Yeah, but, uh, like, can they kill Avery? No, but can Avery kill the inhib? That was a go next week angle from Afari. <laughs> <laughs> Banger, so banger, Peter, banger, banger. Peter had some bangers today. This man is on point. We gotta, we gotta get him on the casting couch at some point. I agree. No one is a brand abuser. It was a, gonna be tough from the get go. I swear this champion's not good anymore. The nerfs are actually really good, but like, maybe I'm just coping. I don't think the nerfs went through on Nov's computer. To be honest, like, I think we need to do a competitive integrity check. He's hacking. Like, I don't know what to tell you, bro. It's not good, LMAO. We trolled him. I told you! I told you! Well, I guess uh, I guess game's over. His first clear was awful? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, your clear is, like, actually just not doable. But, like, Apari picked a not real jungler, so it doesn't matter. And it looks like uh, the Baron is being started from Andromeda here. It looks like nothing much... Uh, it looks like uh, the fight is coming out here, and they're just getting ripped apart from Rift Sharks. They are just hitting them with the wallet diff, and this should just be the end of the game here. Super well played series from Rift Sharks. Um, yeah, I mean, we 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 were comp doubters, but I mean, it worked. Uh, Dean kind of kind of trolling the ult there, but it really doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, who do you think gets MVP game two? I'm leaning towards PB because I feel like he had some really solid engages, this, but this game, yeah. But Dean also just fucking smurfed I on think, the Azir. I think so. Dean was just pumping so 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 much damage in this fight. All right, but like this game, I think it has to be Dean. Yeah, uh, the fucking line. I don't know who you are. That's an all timer. That's going on my I, wall, bro. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Do we wanna do we wanna pull Dean in here for an interview? Uh, Dean. Or who do we want to pull in? Give me Noam, bro. Alright, yeah, let's get Noam in here. I can't drag people, so you're going to have to do it. Hello, I heard you called Hello. for me. Yes. But, okay, okay. What a series. <laughs> that was so a banger tired, series. Uh, what was the thoughts going through for the brand pick? Uh, you know what? I want we you to play at... your team on the air, by the way. Go. <laughs> I was like... Can we pick a Jarvan? And they're like, how about Brand? And I was like, whatever, I don't care. And they locked it in, and it wasn't correct. We should have just picked Lilia, but... Lilia also Honestly, got nerfed, but yeah. Yeah, but she's still good. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And I'm way more comfortable on her, but honestly, it worked. I don't know. Um, like, he's not good. I want to make this 100% clear. I see Gruer, like, saying I'm a Brand abuser. He's not good anymore. My first clear, I almost died, like, three times. Yeah, that's what I thought. Like, but you didn't. You know, you overcame that adversity. And I you did. I. You know what? You really it's well my, it's my meta buster's roots. True. I'm used <laughs> to playing non-meta junglies. Yeah. Um. What was the thought process behind the Azir in game three? What were the What was the the idea behind the draft on that? I think Dean's exact words were, "They can't do anything to me if I pick Asol, and then he picked Azir instead. So I don't really know. All right. He just picked Azir. <laughs> he said, pick me Azir, they can't touch me? No, he said, pick me a soul, they can't touch me. And then he picked Azir instead. <laughs> okay, so he literally just misclicked? A soul was banned. A soul was banned. Oh, okay. okay, okay. See, I wasn't paying attention. So. <laughs> there was no thought process with the... the no, no, they banned... They banned a soul, so I just instantly clicked on Azir and lock it in without thinking. Also, crazy. Go, bro. I hate to say it. I didn't hear what he said. He cut Me out. Either. Well, I guess the world will never know. True. Yeah, unfortunate uh, to be honest. But um, yeah, I think you had a really good uh series overall. Uh, the Amumu looked really good. Uh, was the what was the idea behind the the Amumu fake here? 
Um, honestly, we were going into this series just thinking about putting me on a tank and letting Avery pr play Bruiser. Uh -huh. And then we got blue two games in a row, so we could never counter pick for Avery. Uh -huh. Um, so, yeah, I mean, Amumu, I think, is one of the least vulnerable blind jungle tanks right Agreed. now. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. So just, I just picked him. It didn't work as well in game two. I think they got used to the, the strategy more. Yeah, yeah. Um, and also, I think we got too married to the, uh, like, Rise of Amumu TP, and we should have just played fights normally a couple times and, and lost it mm -hmm. off that, but... Yeah, uh, you guys saw me and Taxi playing the Rise of Amumu and got inspired, correct? Copio. Yeah, bro, I definitely <laughs> checked your match history. <laughs> no, 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 it wasn't in the it was in a sign of series. You were playing yeah, there. Yeah, bro, I definitely pay attention <laughs> to what you play in sign of. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. <laughs> of course, of course. Um, but yeah, super good series overall. Uh, I think thank the you, you. the mid flex with the Varus was super good from you guys. I think you guys just had a really good read on the on the patch. Is there anything else you wanted to say before we wrap it up? Here? I don't know. Andromeda had a hell of a series. Like I. I was going into game three not feeling great, and then, um, I don't know, my team clutched up, but yeah. props to them. They played really well, too. All right, well, I think we're going to we're gonna wrap it up here. Um, thanks for stopping by, everyone. Banger series overall. Uh, yeah. All right. Peace.